Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the next installment of the Made in Dreams podcast. I'm your host, Mighty Vicious, here again with Jamie James, the Emperor. Oh God, he's already punching stuff. And joined by Tom Dent, our second molecule to be on the show, but the first of his name. (laughs) <laughs> yay <laughs> unless and, you have another tom there's many of us at mm so yeah. i'm not the first of my name at mm oh no what well, first of your name here that's good enough for yes me. yeah that's, that's, that's good first. enough for me yes <laughs> so um normally we would take this uh the beginning moments to really give our guests the time to just talk about their history and everything leading to dreams. Do you want that first or do you want the, do you want your first question? That's an icebreaker. Oh, 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 I don't know. I think let's, let me, let's have a question. Okay. Let's go to the question route and then I'll talk about myself, you know, because I could do that for hours. Let's get at you... least one question done. <laughs> hey, hey, we're here for it. So, would you would you consider yourself metaphysically wrinkle free, or a dark matter infinite <laughs> ethereal form? And I mean that what as in a, and I mean that as in like a referential quantitative expression of descriptors. And how has that helped you at Media Molecule in your career path? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> wow. wow. I have no idea. It's, and so, ladies um, and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> what a question. Oh, my God. I, I'd like to think that I'm some sort of dark matter, but I'm actually probably not. I'm, like some, I'm just like this pathetic little <laughs> atom. Like, hey. Hey. Well, oh. and with that, tell us about I guess your road to media molecule, your road to Mm. being the Tom Dent that we all know as the face of media molecule online. Oh Oh, man. Um, I mean, that was the, that was the best question I've ever been asked in an interview. Like that. No one's ever going to top that. Am I dark matter? (laughs) Um, Yeah. So yeah, I'm Tom. I'm the senior community manager at MM. I do the, I do all this, look after our social channels. I host our events. I coordinate, all of our community bits and pieces. I talk to our community on a daily basis. I love everybody. Um, and that makes my job very easy. Um, so I've been at MM for just over three years now. I started wow. in February 2018. My anniversary is now the anniversary of Dreams' launch. Oh. So it's like, so I'm like, every time, we, like last, this year was the day of the in-piece as well. Um, so I was like, Yay, two years, but also yay, dreams, and yay, in peace. So <laughs> yay, everything. It's, it's the best day. <laughs> it's the most exciting day. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been there three years. I started back in February. Um, before then, I worked at uh, Game, the retailer here in the UK, mm-hmm. doing their social media and uh, videos. There's some horrendous videos of me online. Doing some, <laughs> there's some really cringy things. I watch back and I'm like, oh, um, which is quite fun because you can now compare what I do. I'm a lot more comfortable on, on like streams and everything now. Mm-hmm. Um, unless you watch the first Kareem stream that I did, where I'm just staring at the camera. <laughs> at one point, at one point, you see me look off to the. I think it's the right. All I'm doing is looking at a wall, but in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. And then Abby's like, right, we're gonna leave Kareem too, and I'm like, okay, cool, bye. <laughs> thank god i'm out of here yeah. <laughs> um but no yes yeah, so i that was pretty much that i mean i haven't got um a big background like mm is my first uh developer it's my first like proper like community management job I've got the, i've got experience in it but like to have it as a title and as a like mm. a full-on full-time thing um this is my first so i mean I, i'm done i'm one and done like they can't really top what i do at mm um so i just have to say everyone's here i'm here for forever sorry um it's just been really cool and i've learned so much over the past like working on like working with someone like abby i've learned so much like i can i can tell i've learned so much it's been amazing um but yeah so i've seen dream i've seen dreams through the beta period the early access period through to launch through this first year um like all the like launched so many different kind of events and stuff that I'm sure we'll talk about over the next few like next hour or so um 
so it's been a really exciting like few years. like it's gone by in a flash obviously and dreams is so unique and like every day is different um yeah it's just been really a really exciting time and i'm really proud and happy with the work that we've been doing and of myself Indeed. So. Indeed. I mean, I, I think we would all be so lucky as to have it, you know, hit gold. Our first, mm. <laughs> our first yeah. real go. Like, I, yeah. So I like, pinch myself. I pinch <laughs> myself. I still. Yeah. The, mm. Let me ask then, um, with, before we get into other specifics uh, regarding uh, dreams and things that we're undoubtedly going to get asked in chat and probably out of our mouths that you're going to have to be like, guys, I have to bow out graciously yeah. too. But like, <laughs> do you have an unfulfilled dream within dreams? Like within the mm. game of dreams itself, is there something that you yourself are working towards in those little moments where you're not like, being crushed by Twitter <laughs> and all the things <laughs> and all the things that come at you that way. Like, is have we seen the best of Dent or no? Are, 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 oh no, we haven't seen the best. Okay. 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 I don't know. To come. Probably, maybe, maybe, um, <laughs> maybe, probably, probably. This very simple. Probably one of the one of the stre- screams on stream. I think. Um, no, that's a really cool. We were at E three in twenty. 20- 18 i think it was or 2019 i can't remember which stream which it must be there we've only been at 183 or have we i can't remember help um <laughs> whichever, I, think it was, I think it was before launch so it must have been 2018 and um we were sat at a restaurant we were talking about like abby had asked us like what's the one thing you'd want to achieve with dreams and like so that was cool because we like the game wasn't out yet and so we did we had no idea like now especially we still have no idea um but I'd love to see. So there's, I guess there's two parts of the question, like what I'd like to see dreams do and what I'd like to do in it. Um, I'd love for dreams to produce a band's album. Like with the, like I'd love us to like work with, a, selfishly I'd love us to work with a band that I love. Yeah. Because yeah. then I'd be like, <laughs> I just drop some emails over to, I'll just drop some emails over to Ollie Sykes from Bring Me The Horizon. Or <laughs> like, I mean, uh, you don't mind me, you don't mind me retweeting me Ollie. That's fine. Um, I'd love us to do something like that. Um, personally, I think I I want us to evolve what we're doing with like Dreamscom and the MPs. Like, I think the MPs, we had talked about doing something like an award show before early act, before the beta, I think. We we're like, well, we need to relate. We need to recognize these things people are going to bring to life because they, they're worth it. And so I remember us being like, oh, wouldn't it be funny to have an award show? And then I think it was after Alexis and I was like, oh, we can actually, we could probably do an award show. And so I think when we put, when we went live with the first in piece, that was one of those like, okay, cool. This is, this is like a, an achievement. Um, so I'd like us to host the MPs in real life. I think like, like oh, have a, have a, good. have a hall, like have an actual, like, cr- obviously right now, the idea of gathering together in a big hall is like, makes your skin crawl um but in the future i'd love us to like actually like be up on stage bring people up on stage and no doubt we do some mad stuff with dreams like in real but then that's kind of the charm of this year's mp's it was all in dreams and dreamscom was the same um yeah yeah i think you could probably ask me that question again in like a year and i'd be completely different um (laughs) which is kind of the fun thing right like we haven't like there's no there's no one thing because you'll you will achieve that one thing you're like well actually Dreams can do this, so now I want to achieve this. Mm. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I guess I guess it's a really it's a really because we don't know. I mean, no one knows the actual limit of dreams. Like, there's obviously like the the literal limits, but like you can you, with dreams you can do whatever. Like the, we've proven that I think over the past year we can have uh, big long like virtual walks we can have an exhibition show we can throw an award show but we can also produce music videos for like noah cyrus that we did last year mm. um we can have these crazy partnerships that we're doing and like in all sorts of areas um it's not just it's not just a video game so i guess that question is like this mad open-ended thing hmm. well i'm that just was, i hope that was an answer <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm just looking out because I'm getting word from chat that 
the stream has a video stutter, but it says everything on my end is fine. Oh, nice. So, oh. so this is... Let me check it. I'll check it on my end. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is quite, it is quite yeah. stuttery on my end, too. Yeah, I just pulled it up on my phone. Mm. So That's Twitch for you. It, ah. it, it really is. It really is. Then that's really disheartening. They said the audio is fine, at least. Okay. So th- I guess that'll that'll have to do for this now. For now, um, I, I, I just thought it was my terrible British internet, but yeah, I think it's I think <laughs> I think it's I think it's Twitch because yeah, this is mm. super choppy. Yeah, um, either Pleasure that. Ways. Listen to us. <laughs> either, either that, back. or if people, if people want, if they're willing to wait, I can try to shut down the stream and see if it, if it comes back. Mm. I, I mean, we can try it, but it, it, mm. it depends. It says, "Oh, looks fine now." Yeah, now it's oh, fine. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's fine on my. So own. apparently, I, I just had to thread it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently, apparently, I just had to threaten Twitch, um, and it'll, it'll play ball now. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, uh, if that happens again, let me know. But definitely, mm. let me know if the audio goes out. But please, Tom, continue. Sure. Yeah. So I guess it's just that that question is like really, really open ended because I think I don't think I could give you one thing like um, in terms of like my own personal like goals um, because we just keep. I, every time we plan something, I'm like, yeah, this is what I want to do in dreams. Like, this is it. Mm. And then we'll do it and we'll be like, yeah, but we're going to do this now. And I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do in dreams. But I want to do, I want to do a Halloween. I want to do a haunted house. Okay, cool. I've done it. I want to do a bigger award show than we did last year. Okay, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, so I think, yeah, that, that question is probably one that I could be asked every time in an interview and it'd be different. Um, but- I think that's the beauty of dreams, though, isn't it? Because it's just the gift that keeps on giving. Because yeah. you know, you you know, as you just go along with it, it just gets bigger and better every time. And and that's going to be the same for, I suppose, Media Molecule in regards to what they want to do with dreams. You know, as it continues to evolve, it just gets bigger and better as we go along. Hundred percent. And like things like and like, I think I, that is the truth. What I said there about is being like, oh, we want to do this, but now we want to do this. It's true for the team because like we've evolved it like over the past year, especially like doing free, uh, seeing things happen, like the MPs, like dreams.com, like the mm. haunted house. Um, and obviously like, that was the whole point of early access was being like dreams is like this right now, but we don't know if this is right. Yeah. So let's see if it's right. And then early access obviously showed us that some things weren't right. So we changed bits and pieces and, um, as an evolving like platform, like, I don't think we're ever going to be like, right, this is it. Because that would be sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess uh, where I would go is, like you said, you do one thing and then, you know, there's just always that next thing you can do. And so I, I guess my question would be just I, from your perspective, if growing, if if a bigger perspective would make it so you can't answer. But, <laughs> but... <laughs> Everybody, like everybody in the community, we always talk about the 10 year plan mm. and and, you know, what dreams will look like at the end of it as at being so much different than we know it now. And I yeah. guess as, if you have like a general sentiment around the, the watering hole at, at MM, like what like how do you guys feel the 10 year plan is going? Oh, that's a good question. I think we're really, I think we're, we're really like, ha- like happy because we. It's more about where we take it for the community, right? Like mm. how it's as long as as long as people like the people using it are happy, that's that's what we that's what we're happy with. Like we've been able. Like, I think the goal was to be able to put like this just this creative suite into the hands of the people that need it and want it, and mm. um, just let let it roll. Like just let it see what it becomes. Um, and I think that's been like that's been really cool. Like from our perspective, like obviously I'm part, I'm one part of a community team, which is one part of a bigger team. Mm. Um, so we're sort of in our little like bubble. And obviously it's quite a cool, it's like a really important bubble because it's the one that's facing you guys, like the players the most. Yeah. 
um and we're sort of like sh shaping how like, we're kind of shaping how the game is like seen and what is what what is possible with dreams um so i think we're really happy i think it's really it's really exciting to see more i think from my perspective i see more people like when i see new names in our streams and stuff that's really exciting like two years later and like more with like every day there's someone on twitter's being like i've just picked up dreams oh my god it's this creative suite and it's like so cool that it's like and that that there is then it's like that is a different experience to someone who picked up two years ago and there'll be a different experience to someone who picks up in another two years mm -hmm. because it's it's just this ever-evolving thing um i guess going back to what i said like being like we're, pro we're probably never gonna be like done because yeah. like that's like i mean we're not like because you like not even in the bad sense you can't please everyone like we're ne no one it's never going to be like this one thing um it's going to be some bits that we need to improve for other for some people other bits that need to improve for other people um and i guess that's kind of like we're digging ourselves like a bigger and bigger hole mm. um but it's exciting to take on those challenges and we've got this like amazing uh live team now that is like focused on making it a fan like a brilliant experience for creators and like we always say dream like i mean i always say like dreams is what it is because of people like yourself like we have this vision like we have this like it's from our like our team but like going back again to when we launched early access we're like right this is how we see it is this all right um because when as soon as you launch a game it's no longer your game right yeah. it's like what musicians say like it's no longer our album mm. it's your album now um mm. and dreams more than we're in a break. second for me and sure one is still second. going did anybody else hear that or can you still hear him Oh God, no! We still ain't having oh, issues, no. are we? Come on! Cause... It's me. Tech issues. <laughs> Tech issues. Uh, okay, so that's okay. So that's where we're gonna go, I guess, for that. Um. So yeah, y'all keep uh keep going, keep talking. Okay, guys, actually, we need to stop. Everything, everyone went muted for some reason, out of the blue. This is amazing. <laughs> I, just, I just... Okay, I'm going, I'm going to, uh, guys, I'm going to stop the stream and then I'm going to start it back up because I have no clue now why they can hear me, but they can't hear you guys. All right. All right. Cool. All then, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's start back from where we were. Okay. Nice. Um, so yeah, the question was, uh, you know, from doing a community manager position at game UK and then, you know, moving mm. to a community manager position at media molecule how how does the two compare and, and you know how has the experience changed between the two different roles at the two different companies okay yeah, that's, yeah it's cool that's i don't know i can do a good answer here um it was because at game we were sort of working on so many different things so it's like imagine like imagine working like a publisher so like playstation and with all your different titles like because we were mm. marketing selling everything whereas moving to emma like one of my like pulls was like wanting to focus on one thing mm-hmm which is ironic because now we work on dreams and it's, dreams is so many different things, but it is still like that one main product. Mm. Um, so it's just being able to focus on like just that one thing, like making the best, like putting all your effort 
into making yeah. this one because you, you'd work on one project and you'd move so quickly because the game would release and you'd be like all right now i need to go and work on this one or i'm doing this one today this one tomorrow all over the place um and we were doing like some cool things we were like doing the, like the video side of it was interesting because we were obviously a retailer mm. but we were looking at it as a community team so like just making engaging exciting videos like we had one of the benefits was because we were this retailer you we'd have relationships with all the publishers so you yeah. could go do like things for everything um which was really exciting but it was so everywhere um whereas you come to mm and they've got this one pure focus really exciting title uh lots of possibilities and this was back in 2018 the game wasn't even out mm. like um so it was like all these sort of like possible like big sky thinking like blue sky thinking like oh we could do this 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 we're not going to know until it's out um so it was just really exciting it was, it was good to come in to mm on that run-up because you get into the excitement like obviously some of the mm team had been working on it since 20 whatever um and i come in and i'm like ah, this, there we go um <laughs> and just sort of bring it through and like get engaged with the community and sort of just mm. and yeah i mean the community itself again like the game we have everyone like so many different fans of so many different things. It's just so nice to have one pure focus. Um, oh, yeah, one sensitive thing. Yeah. But then, and then at the same time, because Dreams is everything, we are talking to like artists, game makers, filmmakers, musicians, uh, all under this one guy. So we still get that, I still get that massive, like broad uh, variety of people mm. and projects, but it's still dreams and it's still yeah. mm um and it's just really exciting to become like to really put a put your mark and your like voice on this thing and sort of like mold it we've molded like sort of mold it into what we want like abby and i like abby had been there like a year and a bit before me so it's obviously yeah. sort of getting started working like i took over from jenny who's the best um, and like really was just like just a fantastic person that's like, oh my god, I can't I'm not as good as you, I can't do this, I can't do this. Um but sort of being able to like take it and run with it and make it my own thing, but still make it make sense. Um it was just such a bigger level of investment, like personally and emotionally and like mm. spiritually. <laughs> um <laughs> that you just weren't able to do it because of because of the needs of the previous job. Yeah. Um and I'm still, I'm learning, I'm still learning. Like, um, like I say, it's my first community management job. So fingers crossed I'm doing an okay job. I think I am. Oh, well, um, if I have uh, anything to say about it, I think you're doing a really, really good job. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Love, love the streams. And Thank you. I, I love how, I love how not so great you are at playing games as well. I think that just really adds to everything. Thanks, like, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's oh, annoying no. because he said it. It's annoying because, <laughs> like, it, I will true. sit. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad. Like, I will sit back. It's when I check the scoreboards after every high school game and I'm at the bottom. I'm like, that's cool. But it's then like... I, will, I will go sit in my lounge and I'll smash through a From Software game. I'm like, why is no one watching me? Yeah. <laughs> you got to start streaming that and stuff. I'm like, you get... I'm like, I'm looking at Amy. I'm like, you see this? <laughs> I can do this. But then I go and play Beat Runner in Dreams, and I hit the first wall. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And it's I mean, not. I'm not even playing. I'm not even like pretending. I just. I, I... <laughs> it's just like I know for. I can guarantee that if you are streaming, there is going to be a lot of oh no's in that yeah. stream and it's just yeah. perfect i love it so much yeah i'm glad i i i never i i'm always like oh, i hope this is actually like okay to watch <laughs> it's like when when we have the, when we have the creators in stream i'm like okay, okay I'm so, i think i said i think yesterday i was saying sorry i think it was avox who's done shadow ninja i was like mm -hmm. failing at the um the tree the first tree and i was like i was like looking at i'm sorry avox I'm gonna do this. I promise. And it's like <laughs> I I always worry that it's like they're that they're, they're like, oh no, my game's bad. I'm like, no, I'm bad. <laughs> like I suck. Your game is great. Um, no, I'm glad that I'm I'm glad it's entertaining. And uh, it is. It's. I'm never. Good. I never feel bad. I never feel bad. I'm like 
I know I know I suck at some games. But it's nice when I'm good, you know. I suppose yeah. it's also difficult to like stream, try and be, you know, talking to everybody and trying to play the game at the same time. So I, I could appreciate it's difficult to to stream stuff and try and engage with everybody and, and try and concentrate yeah. on the content you're trying to do at the same time. It's the but... one it's probably the one thing I never saw myself doing. Like I don't stream I don't do my own streams. Mm. I only stream from them. I was like, I know if something I'm gonna do, but I really enjoy it. Like it's really fun. I think probably it speaks to what dreams is again, that it is this creative suite, it is this amazing a- area for people to just express themselves. So I'm like, I just I'm really happy we get to show it off on such a regular basis. Yeah. Um and because and like I it I see our streams as such especially over the past year. Um, we didn't stream for the first two weeks of like everything. And it was like weird because we miss it's our one way. We so I'm going all over the place. Like one of the things I love about MM is how open and like talkative and engaging we are to our community. Like a lot of studios, a lot of places don't do it. And it's fair enough because game development is hard. <laughs> and like you have other areas, but like we have this reputation of being people that will talk, will engage on a regular basis. And I think the streams are like our sort of what's the best word for it? Our biggest areas of engagement. Like mm. we speak to we every week. Uh, bar the odd headache and stuff. Um, which reminds me, I'm not wearing my glasses. Nightmare. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, we, the streams are so important to me because we get to engage and talk to you on a weekly basis. And like, I think we've, it's helped me over the past like year stay cool because you come up, you could be in a really bad, they like could be in the worst mood not because of anything in particular, you just like wake up, you're in a bad mood, you go, but then as soon as it goes like you, I'm not going to go on the stream and be like, yeah, I'm not going to be in a bad mood, right? Like, mm, yeah. And then in, in the nicest way, in the nice way, it forces me to be in a good mood. Yeah. And like, then that just becomes genuine. But like I will always come off stream with a smile on my face. Because we've either had a really silly time or we've played a cool game or someone said something funny in chat. Um, I've never, I've never like stopped broadcasting. Amy's just dropped my glasses on. So I'm going to put them on. <laughs> um, um, I've never come off stream and been like, oh, I hate that. Everything, is, everything sucks. Because people are so happy. And I think we've provided a space. There we go. Yes. Hi. There he is. <laughs> Hello. There he is. Hello. There's Clark Kent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah, I've ne- I think it's just so fun. I, I just really, I've just, I really cherish them. Um, and yet, like, you, you get in, but you get in bad moods, right? Like, but the community is so friendly and so welcoming and so happy to talk to each other and talk to us mm. that if we were to ever not do them, I would be really upset. Oh, and there yeah. are obviously there are times we don't do, and that's because we're busy or we've got stuff going on, or we're on ho- like if we're on holiday, there's a whole different area. Like we're not, no one explain. Like if it got to a random Thursday, and we weren't doing it. They would, I would get a bit like, ah, because um, <laughs> like, yeah, it, yeah. I, I I could talk about how good how important the streams are to me because for ages, but the fact that we get to do that on a weekly basis is just the best. Yeah, that it's, knocks it's, out one of my questions, actually, because I was going to say, you know, I, I believe you mentioned on stream how, you know, it kind of came down to who could stream from home yeah. when the pandemic hit and like just being thrust into that position. Or you know, I don't know if they were like, get out there, <laughs> do the job, <laughs> get <it> done. <laughs> okay. but, you know, but yeah, I mean, that experience must have been interesting if you, if you know, hadn't done it before. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, like going back. To, oh, sorry, go on. No, no, no. Go ahead. Yeah. As I say, like going, like going back to that first stream when I'm sat in, by Kareem and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just staring. Like honestly, I, I can't remember. I think we spoke about this on like while we were live. It might be before. We were. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just staring, and I look off to the right, and I'm like, and in my mind, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> 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 We had that footage on at PAX. I want to say it was PAX West, the first PAX we went to where Dreams was playable for the first time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I saw it like 17 times a day. And it was the bit when I look off 
<laughs> and I, I would be with mates. I'd be with friends. I'd be like, there I lose my, there I lose my mind. Because I'm just like, <laughs> holy hell, holy hell. It's, it's Kareem. It's Abby. It's MM. And I'm on MM. I was like, ah! And now I'm looking at it. I'm like, I'm screaming the head off. And I'm like, so chill. And I'm like, I'm picking up my cat out of a cardboard box. Um, <laughs> No, I think it was it was it was because obviously we host like it was me or Abby hosting them at, uh, when we were in the office, um, mm. and we had we could go get anyone because we could just go around the corner and be like, oh, do you want to come on stream now? And they'd be like, even if they'd say no, we would drag them. Um, <laughs> but obviously, I'm the only one in my house. Like, well, Amy's here, but Amy's not. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Amy, you do the MM stream today, because um, that'd be so mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, but some people just don't have the equipment, like don't have the ability to, whether it's because of internet connections or equipment or stuff. So like, and that's why we've definitely made these moves to these other Tuesday streams because everyone's either, bit like, and people are busy. Like it's it's a lot to stream, like for an hour and a bit a day. Uh, yeah, yeah. And like, no matter what, and if you're not comfortable, because it's, and it's scary. Like I would never, ne I'd never be in a position where I'd be like, someone would be like, no, I don't want to. I, I'm too nervous. I'd be like, no, you're doing it. Like we need you to do this sorry mm. because it's just it's just it's, it, if you're not willing to if you don't want to do it you can't get forced to do it mm. and because you're just gonna it's just gonna be bad like you're just gonna have a bad time um so luckily we've, we've got people like like jamie and ali and uh, and jen they all join me and stuff but i'm i'm more than happy to do it because otherwise it won't happen i'm not i don't want to pressure anyone else into doing it because it's just like it's a lot um yeah. So yeah, like when we and like, and obviously people are busy, like they're working. So when we get back into the when, when and if, or whenever we get back to the office, like there will be more faces because there's more possibility. Um, uh, which I can't wait for. I can't wait to be back on that sofa with people. Um, but also the other side of it is like people that like might have not been able to stream in like can now. So, so say like someone like like Ali, like Ali works up in like he's up up north but like he might not have been able to be in the office or like pete field work he lives mostly up north as well and like he can do stream he could do a stream now mm. whereas like originally that would have been like eight weeks planning because we yeah. need to like, oh, you this one day we need you to be free for an hour um so it kind of does open it and sort of close it in the possibilities but um i'm happy to do it because it's fun <laughs> uh, i like doing it and i love watching them every week and that's yeah that's cool <laughs> I'm sorry, my energy is not is, is not super high, but like I said, everyone knows how, how I am about my settings and the fact that the, <laughs> and, the, and the fact that the stream, like when you were talking about looking off at the wall and just the scream in your eyes, <laughs> that's what's happening to me right now because I am oh, yeah. so I am so frustrated at what whatever is happening right now. Like this is the first time anything like this has gone on on this it's stream. Not, yeah, I, I it's have, like. It's the worst, man. Like the tech is just like we can't live with like we can't live with it and we can't live without it. Um so true. But it's fine. I think as long as as long as, as Yeah, long they as can they can hear us. Go, yeah. 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 The audio yeah, is fine. It's just like I said, for me, when if I do something, I want it like it has to be professional. Like it has to look yeah. right. And and like I'm sitting here looking from my phone to like the, the setup <laughs> screen to like the audio oh. and then i have like a wall of diagnostics going on on my third <laughs> screen over here i'm just trying to figure this out and i can't but we'll get enough of me i just need to i guess explode out loud <laughs> <laughs> so 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 i like i manage i do our when we do our obviously because when we do our like dreams commentary our mp streams it's me doing it. Like I'm, I'm doing. I'm working from. I'm coming from my laptop. Mm. So I will. I will. What do you use for the stream? Is it OBS or is it something else? Uh, slobs or a Streamlabs yeah. OBS. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So I, Dreamscom. Uh, no, MP's being the most recent. I get so terrified because <laughs> if it goes wrong, it's my laptop, and like I will just sit and watch the frame rate for like the hour and a half. I'll just be like. If that green square turns orange, I'm just gonna panic. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess, that sounds I guess. so much like Will. Yeah, it's I guess, me right I guess, now. Yeah, I get sweaty. I get like shaky. Um, <laughs> and I think it was Dreamscom. 
I took, I, I bit off more than I could chew. I was like, right, I'm going to tweet video. I'm going to tweet the trailers that people have given us because it's going to be like the proper, like how, like when E3 happens, when Gamescom mm-hmm. happens, the trailers go at the same time. It's like, I'm going to tweet the trailers. I'm going to do it. And it's going to be sick. It's going to be fine because it's on my phone, but it's not my laptop. So when I forgot that my phone was connected to my Wi Fi. And so there were and some people like, the stream keeps like slowing down just after the trailers go live. And I'm like, <laughs> oh no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. And I was like, why is it going? I, I, I'd panic. I'd be like, ah, it's slowing down. And then I'd turn and do another tweet. And I'd be like, okay, tweet's gone. Why is it panic? Why am I panicking? Ah! And it's just the worst. <laughs> It's just the worst. It's always and I'll be sending Abby messages. I'll be like, is the stream okay? Is it fine? Is it okay? Is it fine? Is it okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so I I feel you. I'm with you there in spirit. At least we have audio. I mean, at least people can hear us. That's the main exactly. thing. I, I, just, I, I just don't. Uh, yeah yeah and, and so let's get back to the questions and not to me complaining <laughs> we'll be sending a very a, angry letter to a, twitch a, later oh <laughs> oh oh believe me it's <laughs> you joke but i'm <laughs> oh no i am not joking i know you will i would be like what's up me, man? I'm like, I'm sorry I'm not streaming Fortnite, but I need y'all to actually provide me the bandwidth. <laughs> I need y'all to give me this. I, I, need, I, need, the, I need the bits, okay? I need the bits. So um, I guess if this was kind of asked by NC Alchemist trying to jump mm. in here and take my take my questions. But uh, like, what have, what have been the... Um, like? I guess what are the challenges of trying to do this through the pandemic? Like mm. how, like, you know, make it, y'all have done a lot of hiring lately. You know, you got a lot of jobs out there posted. Like, what is it like trying to work through that from your position? Like in mm. the, it, go ahead. Remember uh, it's, cool. it's cool. Like we've obviously it's like, it's weird. Like the, there isn't a, there isn't another word for it. It's, it sucks. It's weird. But like we have, like MM's always been so collaborative and so like like just we can do this. Um, there was like a little rocky stuff, but then we just got on with it, and it it's shaped dreams in a way. Like it goes back to that question, of like what is what can dreams be and stuff? Because like he told us in like March 2019 that it would be like this. And we'd be doing these events, like the events themselves have come out of working like this mm. because we started with like when we started working from home like it was the me and the community team was just abby me and jamie um and now we're, we've just hired, i think holly who's our new community manager is like our 10th mm. person um which is cool um and so it was just like i think it was one we was doing a stream and um we won't talk because we don't we don't dwell on it. We don't dwell on the whole thing because it's no one like like going back to what streams are. Streams are like a safe space. Dreams are a safe space. So we don't want the like the the sadness of the world. Mm. Um, yeah. But like we were talking about like how people can't go outside and we played. I think it was an insane artist creation. And like, oh, it's cool. You can hike. Like it's like going on a hike. It's like we're outside, but we can't go outside. It's fun. And then I think it, I I I I want to say it was Basket Snake in the chat was like you should do like a jam. And you should link them all together. And we're like, okay, that's cool. And Abby was off the day after, but we we stayed on chat after the stream. We're like, is that something we could do? And I was like, to me and James, she's like, see what happens. And so that Friday, we we're like, let's do something like this and call it. I think I think it was Tap Giles called it Dreamwalk in the end. Um, mm. and we're like, we'll 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 put this thing out there. It will just, I'll just, we'll just put it on social media. We're like, oh, here's a link to remix it. Um, do what you want. It could be whatever you want. We'll collect them next week. And so, and Jamie had like put this amazing thing together and we're like, okay, we'll just see what happens. And like, you'd sometimes put these things out and it'd be like, oh, you get five people, you get 10, you get one, you get two. Um, and they just kept coming. Like the remixes just kept happening. Mm-hmm. And over the weekend, Jamie was looking and it was more and more. And uh, we're like putting it together. We're like, oh, this is cool. Like this is this is this is cool. Yeah. And that one idea became the halls in Dreamscom. 
like, ah, okay. and then that idea at DreamsCon became the haunted house. And like, that isn't something like we'd spoken about. And I was telling you guys before, we'd spoken about DreamsCon. And this is a really exciting idea. And I, I, I think some of the people in the chat will know about it, but some might not. Like DreamsCon was going to be a real thing. Like me and, me and Abby had had meetings before everything about, I think even during, in 2020, before we went out to launch Dreams, because Dreams came out in 2020. Like it was one of the last games to launch like in a retail shop before everything happened. <laughs> um, and we were like, oh, we could do that. And we could do, it would be an event and uh, it'd be fun. And then obviously everything happened. We're like, right, we can't do real life events. Um, but can we do it in the game? Um, and then we did dream what, and we're like, okay, we'll see what happens. And then we did dream walk and we're like, this could work. And we put it all together. Um, and then um, Sean Freaky came to us with a list of creators and was like, oh, I've got all these people. They've got, they've got, uh, they've got trailers coming out. Could we do like an E3 show? And, uh, and then we're like, oh, well, that could work with this idea we had for Dreamscom. And we move that in game. Um, so I think, and then it's, that's it. Like, and then, we kind of took some of those ideas to the MPs, uh, but MPs was his own thing. But yeah, dreams like Dreamwalk, Dreamscom, and Halloween wouldn't have existed if we weren't in this situation. Yeah, and those those events have now inspired and like um, in what's what's the word? I forgot. I've had, I was like, I'm on a roll here. I'm talking well. <laughs> um, they've inspired uh, like how we look at dreams. And like changed how we look at dreams and what it can be, mm. um, and that that and they're the things that have gotten dreams the attention, because yeah. like they they've kept us they've they've been like almost quarterly events, um, so yeah we've just we've been able to really focus on like what community engagement in the game is because of it, whereas like if we hadn't been at home we might have been just doing like the odd event here, odd event here. Like we did MPs obviously in 2019 and that was a real, and that was really cool. Um, but we couldn't do it the same this year. So we're like, well, we did the, we did the Dreamscom show. We've done the animated show. We just do it again. We just do it again and do it better. Mm. Um, so you can, you can see the evolution of those events in each one um, going back to Dreamwalk, which is mental because that was, I remember being sat on my sofa. This was because this was like April. So it wasn't even like we hadn't been working from home for too long. Um, so we didn't, I didn't have like the desk set up that I've got now. It was literally just like Amy and I were, sh were swapping rooms if we had phone calls and stuff. And I was just sat on my sofa with Thomas um, on my lap. And Jamie was like, look at this. And I was like, okay, I'll tweet it. Um, and yeah, and then the rest is like, the, the, then next thing you know, it's a year later and we're doing some like mad things. It's just really cool. Yeah. And we've obviously, um, like obviously the, the sorry, I, I tell me to stop talking. And no, 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 talk no, no, keep going, um, keep going. <laughs> yeah, and like we, obviously the way we engage, like our, like our streams have become so much more important because of us having this like regular contact with everybody. Um, we would we weren't not going to do them we just need to get them sorted and uh yeah like i think it's 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 been weird but everyone's just kept going and like the team that I mean we've we've released like a lot of updates <laughs> dreams like it, like i mean we, and we launched like the first update we launched was just like a small patch we're like cool we've done it we've done a patch but then in the middle of all of it we launched vr for dreams mm. Like that VR got finished from home, like crazy, which is surreal. Like that's such a huge part of it, a huge part of dreams that we just we did in the middle of the summer last year. Um, so MM's never really like we had to adapt, obviously, but like we've just kept going and just kept doing this, and it's got it's kind of helped because we've like we've been able to see dreams in this new way. Um. And then yeah, we've obviously we brought in new people. Like Jen came in at the end of last year and has changed like the like has brought in this whole thing, the insider and like this oh, editorial so and so it. good, isn't it? Yeah, like so it's good. just so much fun. So, so cool. Um, I just love the officialism of everything. Like yeah, the side is so official. The MPs is so official. Dreamcom yeah. is so official. It's like you've made your own universe 
And it's just yeah. like, you know, we all live inside this bubble where, you know, Dreamscom is E3 to us now. And the imp side it is the is is like, you know, <laughs> the, the BBC. It's just like, yeah, we just live in this virtual world. And it's just so, so perfectly done. And, oh, it's just I yeah. love it so much. And I think that goes, I mean, to bring it, well, what you said about like um, wanting everything to be like perfect. Like we have, we do, we, we do. Like obviously we want it and we don't, we're not half assing anything. Like mm. that's why the impies was what it was. <laughs> that's what dream why Dreamscom was what it was. Like we could have done like the smaller version or something, but we're like, no, we might as well like go like dreams is like the possibilities of dreams, like why skimp on the idea? Yeah. Like obviously we've got bigger, like bigger ambitions with some of these events, but like why skip like in, in the realm of the game, why stop when you can like do the like do the celebratory scoring of it like the, the yeah. theme tune that ed does for impies is just mad yeah this is crazy like, it's just this biggest thing um and so yeah it's just great it's just and like just being seeing it all come together is so cool like the impies i think are one of the best like the evolution like even though it was real life la like in 2019 um at the back i'm like yeah but 2020 20 yeah. like the one we did this year it evolved was, so much was so good it's crazy yeah, and like yeah, and then bringing the game element of it, like having the hub area, mm. um, which uh, Jamie and Theo just nailed, um, was so just so cool, man. It's, and, it's... and not not only that, like the attention to detail outside of dreams as well. Like I've saw people that won the MPs that have tweeted out they come in a really nice box with all this velvet lining. Yeah, it's like, right. So premium, yeah. and it's just like whoever just sits there and thinks like you know let's put it in this really nice slick box with velvet to make it look like a BAFTA. It's just, so, yeah. it's so good. So we forgot to tell people, and I think if you watch back in the first in piece, Abby's holding the statue mm. and we forget to tell people that they were going to get them. Yeah. And like, and we, we got, we finished the show and we were like, we didn't tell anyone that they're going to get the trophies. <laughs> And so we just send them and they're like, wait, what? It's real? Yeah, you get a real uh, thing. Yeah, man. And they they're like solid. Like they are <laughs> heavy. Um yeah, it's so cool. Like it's so cool. And like we've done like yeah, I think we sent thing like for the MPs this year, we obviously couldn't do this for like the, like for everyone, but like for the team, we sent everyone like invites. Mm. Like we made it all like we sent our uh Kath, um, one of our like cooks and then she uh, put out like a cocktail list and mocktail list. <laughs> so everyone got like invited to be in peace. Yeah. Uh, and it was the it was the invite that you could unlock in the hub as well. Mm. Um, yeah. So I think, but I mean, that's like we d we don't want to ever like skimp on the idea. If if we've got like that's one of the best things I have. No, no idea is like too silly. I think your problem is now is if you do decide in the future to actually have the MPs in real life, you've got a big boot to fill with like the whole production value yeah. of 2020's in peace we can't have mecha whale coming <laughs> no, <in>. no. <laughs> i think yeah i, mean, I think i've i've heard a bunch of people because we've talked about this before say that you know they kind of don't want it to be in real life like yeah, people I mean, are like yeah, yeah just do it on just do it through dreams like you did before yeah. and that it's better and then one day we'll all just meet up um at a real show maybe uh E3 or something and bump S's. So, yeah. You know. uh, yeah, but I think. Good. Sorry, I was just saying, I think, yeah, I mean, on, like, on, personally, when looking at 20, I was like, this is so much better. Because mm. you can just do, you can do cooler things. Yeah. Um, so, I think we'll probably find a, a balance between um, real life and virtual for like the MPs, especially. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Like like Dreamscom like was what it was last year at the big showcase. Dreamscom this year, uh, <laughs> I think we we said Dreamscom something this year. Dreamscom this year um, <laughs> is going to be like slightly different, but still as exciting. Um, and it's getting very exciting to talk about that soon. Um, so we'll always like we're never going to just copy and paste. And like MPs, obviously we couldn't copy and paste. Um, I imagine in our heads we were like we probably will, but we couldn't. Um, we were forced not to. Um, but I think looking that's a great example. Of, there's no point just like we just can't do it. It just becomes stale. Mm. Like we're like we'll do we'll do probably an event at the same time. And like Dreamscom and the MPs are probably like our two like 
main events, like the ones that were always there. But like we didn't do dream. We talked about doing dream walk this year, but we just got too sidetracked. Like Impies was obviously later, mm-hmm. um, and then what we do later in the end, we do new things each year. But like, yeah, we'll always just like nail it. <laughs> I, wanna, I love the confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take the time to go through a few more questions. One that we've taken beforehand and or a few that we've taken beforehand and some that are showing up in chat right now. Mm. Um so for uh let's see, we have MC Alchemist asked uh who is your favorite pet, Lila or Thomas? No. <laughs> oh, MC Alchemist. <laughs> no. No, no. It's so cruel. <laughs> neither, of the, neither of them are here, so they, they can't hear me. Um, I can choose. <laughs> Lila, Lila is the first pet, other than my uh, goldfish that I had when I was when I got I got given a goldfish when I was one, and it lived. No one believes me when I say this, mm-hmm. and everyone's like, "Your mum changed the fish." Like it lived until I was sixteen. No. What? No, yes, no, it no. Did. no goldfish Yo, lived until bro, the, bro, those no. things have a trouble living two weeks. There's no way <laughs> it turns, it turns silver. It was mental. It's it evolved. Yeah, no. <laughs> Looking back, the more I think about it, I was like, yeah, there's no way that was the same fish at all. No. Yeah. Um, but Lila's the first that I've had since like, like Thomas was Amy's before she met me, so she's just collecting Thomas's. Um, I'm like the second <laughs> Thomas in her life. Um, yeah, they, and they both match each other so well. Like, because Lila's so, they're both so ginger. Um, I'm not going to choose. I'm not, because one one of them can now jump up to my face. And then Thomas has really sharp claws. So if they if they ever heard me say, <laughs> you're my favorite. We tell, yeah, we tell each other, we tell them for it. Yeah, we tell them each. We tell them when they're alone that they're our favorite, but then we tell the other one they're our favorite, um, just so they don't get an ego. And we had a question actually from all the way back from when Abby was here, mm-hmm. and someone and I, I promised Why Led Better that I'd come back and ask this question again. Mm-hmm. And so he and more people than I expected want to know. What does Tom Dent smell like? <laughs> See, I, you know, I took a guess for those that were wondering why the uh, stream was named what it was named, mahogany and vanilla. I, it's, it's that's what I think when I see Tom Dent. I'm like, that guy smells of a rich mahogany, and a nice vanilla, just a, a undertone of sweetness. But you tell me, what? Let us know. Oh, I God. think, I think, I am. One of the most like boring things. So I think I smell of just like air. <laughs> like I, I, th- I think I just like, or or I smell of like water. Like I think that I don't think I have like. I think if I was, if I went and I was like, I hey, what do I smell like? She's like, oh, I don't know. You just smell like you. I think I don't. I don't have like. I don't think I have a scent. I don't think you could get odor to Tom. So you oh, think like, so Tom I Dent just that. so Tom Dent just smells like humidity, is what yeah, you're I telling think so. me. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I, I think I smell like room temperature. <laughs> you know okay. that's pH balanced. I like that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next we have Katai. He says or Kataya. He says you're mm. stranded on a desert island. Which one dreamer do you bring with you to help you escape? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, see, I want to, I, I, I want to say J plus B because he's my bro. I can't go anywhere without Jamie. <laughs> um, but you've got to bring someone like CG Cody or like, or like Tannic Alloy, surely, right? Because yeah. they're gonna think of something. <laughs> like they, uh, like, I think you need to, I think you need to drop a tap into that list as well. Also tap because he'll just yeah he he'll, he'll help just, you yeah he'll just do it for you and just show you how it's done yeah you'd be like how do I get off the here tap and then he goes yeah and you're like wait wait a minute <laughs> come back <I'm> gone <laughs> yeah no I I'd want to bring like a logic person yeah um or Jamie because me and Jamie will go wherever we go together but then I'm like would would, would me and Jamie bring someone 
you know, they <laughs> would make... get an extra person. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. If I can have two people in this question, I've already got stranded with Jamie. So that's like that. And then I, br- I think I bring Tanik or Tap or Cody. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Or one of the musicians. And I can just, we can slowly fade off with beautiful music. Not a bad Did idea. The... Yeah. yeah. But let's we'll up him. let's up the heat on the question. Oh, no. All right. Ooh. And this is before we get to my questions, by the way. So let's oh, okay. up the heat a little bit. You're stranded on a xenomorph planet. What type of predator <laughs> do you bring with you to survive? And that's from Boom Shakalaka. He says hunter, tracker, etc. Oh man. I I think I bring Hunter. Because I'm like, just get it. Like, just go. <laughs> I need like, food, I, not, if nothing yeah, else. Yeah, please. Like Imagine. you don't. I think you bring me pizza. Think, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think you don't bring a trap because I'm like I'm not interested in like finding it. I'm interested in just killing it and like just be like rid of it. So yeah, Hunter. Okay, and lastly, from Bobby yeah. Love, what new Marvel production are you most looking forward to? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, right. Crack the knuckles. And I'm the movie guy, so I'm going to be judging you the whole way. No, I'm just <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> right. How long? What time is it? Nine. We'll, we'll we'll get to your questions in like an hour and a half. Will um, yeah. that'll work? So I'm really I'm really excited about. <laughs> Amy's going to hear me say this. She'll be like, nice, because we're both massive Marvel fans. Like our lounge is covered in Marvel stuff. Fantastic. Like our, the the centerpiece of our like wall is like a bunch of Infinity War posters. Brilliant. Um, I think if I look at Phase Four and those films as a, as a chunk, mm-hmm. I think it's probably Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. I would tend to agree with you on that one. Just because, <laughs> Will, I saw that reaction. <laughs> I <don't laughs> I'm, <know. laughs> I'm just I'm 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 hearing you. I'm hearing you. <laughs> because after One Division. The, the like Scarlet Witch being like an active force in mm. the MCU. I'm so excited to see where they go with her. And I'm so excited about the multiverse because I think they just I don't think Marvel have the ability to fail now with yeah. their movies. Like they like Kevin Feige is like our our Lord and Savior. Um <laughs> and I don't think there's an idea that they can bring to the cinema or the TV. Um and fail at so i think multiverse because it seems like the biggest scale one i think it's going to kick off everything but that said i'm really excited for new stuff so i'm really excited for shang chi i'm really excited for the eternals but i think out of that lineup it's going to be strange for me we have uh we have a cs guy at mm now called ryan who work if you've ever sent a ticket to the support page ryan's the one that's replied to you and he's a massive mcu fan and so we would, uh, every Monday morning, we'd take half an hour and we'd discuss the previous Friday's TV show episode. So I'm very excited to when the movies start coming out. Um, so yeah, probably, what about you guys? Because, well, I need to know now. Well, see, I think, I think people, have, people have a little bit of leeway with this new phase because they're going to be showing a bunch of people and characters that you don't, not a lot of people are super familiar with, mm. but I think the next Ant-Man and Wasp is going to be the secret show stealer. Yeah, because I mean, that has Kang, right? Like that has it, Kang with Mandarin. It, it has Kang, but also I loved how uh, when Scott basically shrunk down in the last one, mm-hmm. you got to see this underverse, and I really do think that that's where gonna where they're going to bring the Fantastic Four out of. Nice. Oh, I've, I've, I have okay. always I've always wanted them to go but that they're, route, they're. but it's oh, that they were they could do like the old movie where it's like they were back in the you know sixties whatever. They yeah. got trapped in there, and then we bring them back out. Oh, interesting. And it's later. So that's yeah. what I've always hoped they yeah. do. So I think that's going to be the, the show stealer that nobody's looking at. Nice. Um, Plus, Ant-Man's been, like, bubbling. Like, he's yeah. like, mm. Ant-Man was great, but it was, like, kind of the weird kid. And then the wasp, and then Ant-Man the wasp. And then, like, 
when you see Ant Man at the start of at the start of uh, Endgame, you're like, yes, <laughs> you're like, it's Ant Man. <laughs> so yeah, no, I can I can feel you on that. I can yes. feel you on that. So other then, than uh, that, I'm just sad that you know. Uh, Chadwick Boseman. I'm I'm very mm, upset really. about that loss because I really felt like they were setting up something. And yeah. even though the first see Doctor Strange is a t- is is it's a sore spot for me. Oh no, and it, it's oh, a sore yeah. sp- just the first one. I'm really excited about Multiverse of Madness, but it's a but it's a it's a sore spot for me because they used Mads Mikkelsen as a throwaway character when he was the dude that I was like, yo, like before it ever came i was like he's the guy that they need to pick for doom for victor right, von yes. doom i was like yeah. that is doom and yeah. so it's a sore spot but still uh we still have hopefully i want them to pick uh luke evans as oh, name as, as 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 well no as namor oh okay that's that's what i want oh, them to get to because you have the you have the two because they've also talked about that, and I like the yeah. idea of you know if you're not gonna have Doom anymore, because Doom versus Black Panther with the two kings in the, like oh. going it that really had me yeah. going. So I was very happy I about think, that. But yeah, yeah, I think the the like anyone that speaks to me either in real life or on like knows that I am like MCU. I'm a I'm a fan <laughs> to say the least. Um, and I think I woke I woke up the morning that Chad the news about Chadwick had, had come in, and Amy Amy told me, and I was like, "What?" And it's the first one that's kind of like really, because I, I I see these I love the, I see meet these characters more time I, I I love them and they're, they're like I'm so into them, and I I haven't been able to watch Black Panther since I've watched I've watched Endgame and because I'm just like and even in Civil War the first time you see him, like. On the roof, yeah. Uh, or it, when you meet him with T'Chaka in um, in uh, Versailles, yeah. And it's like, oh man, it just it gets you, it hits you so mm-hmm. hard. And what he meant, what the character meant, what the film meant, like was such is such a success. It is going to be really hard. But I think I like I think Brian Coogler and the cast with Wakanda Forever. I think that's going to be such a like a cathartic. Yeah, an emotional experience. Mm-hmm. Um, a hard, definitely a hard watch. But oh, um, yeah. and then it's then that you start thinking about like they're not just blockbuster movies; they mean so much. Like seeing these people up on the screen and like getting involved and like just being a powerful uh, presence. Uh, they just mean so much more. So, oh, yeah, God. man. Endgame was such an experience to watch in the cinema. <laughs> Like ab- <laughs> absolutely crazy. I've never cried so hard <laughs> in the cinema. Like, the first, the first. Sorry, we we should get back to dreams in it. Yeah. We will, <laughs> we will, we will. The first, the first time I saw it, we'd gone to a double bill of uh, Infinity War and Endgame. Mm. It was the best experience because everyone, like everyone, knew Infinity War and had seen Infinity War like a million times in a year since it'd been out. So everyone was like cheering at the right bits and like quiet at the right moment, like. When Peter goes, everyone's quiet. Yeah, everyone's then, sad. Yeah, it's like, oh. Um, which reminds me of like the first time uh we went when I went to see Ant-Man and you they flip back to like uh hope and everyone disappearing. Mm. There was just this guy in the back back of the cinema which went, Screw you, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, yes. Um but yeah, like when endgame, I that whole like last 40 minutes. Now <laughs> this i this is really like I was sat there, Amy on one side, my mum on the other. I was holding both their hands. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just I was just like this. <laughs> so stressed. <laughs> and I was just like gripping them. Um and I was just quiet. But then the next time I was I my t- I was shining. I was just crying. I I, I got Amy's hand, I was just like, feel my cheek. <laughs> she was like Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, man. Get in the cinema with me in the MCU movie. Look, oh, yeah. look. You're, you're we're gonna, if 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 you have the time on some random Wednesday 
and yeah. and after I troubleshoot my computer into oblivion after this show, I like <laughs> on some random on some random. I haven't forgotten. Like I, I'm I'm yeah. doing okay, but <laughs> I really do think it's Twitch, and I'm gonna yeah, go. It, I, yeah, it, it, it but is. but I'm going to make sure by dissecting every piece of this computer when we're done. But <laughs> I invite you formally to come to my other podcast, which is the Unexamined was- Life. The Unexamined yeah. Life podcast, where we talk about everything, life, death, movies, <laughs> TV, <Yeah. laughs> everything. And we'll get down to it all because Boom Shakalaka brought up Hulk and how they thought they did them they did him dirty. And oh. I, I like to have oh. that conversation, but not here. Not where we put the yes. positive vibes. Okay. We put the yeah, positive let's... vibes in dreams. I'm into it. I'm into it. Let's do it. I've wanted to talk about Marvel for like six hours in one. Oh, trust me. Anyway. You will have. It will a, do it. You will have do, such a blast with Will. Yeah, get me in movies, and we're all about it. Like yeah, let's, dreams let's, is we'll my, organize it. Yeah, dreams is my love thing. It, it really is. And then, like, but half of my of my heart will always be movies and just the idea of writing them making them it, it's just i can't oh, that's what that's that's what brought me into dreams I was gonna say, I, like yeah dino has such a cinematic like quality mm-hmm. to it um, doesn't it i'm so excited <laughs> i'm like when I, that, that trailer was like hype moment man like oh, yeah so that makes like a lot it. of sense now that makes so much sense yeah um, yeah man i'll sit i'll sit down with you and talk mcu oh yeah but tell me a few more things about how you like dino no, just, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just no, playing I really with like, you. I really like the the voice acting was good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, like, <laughs> I'd, I'd love, I'd love to get in touch with that voice actor. Oh, uh, you, I, I got his number. I got his number. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can DM it to me. DM it to me. So <laughs> let's 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 wrap this. Up. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. I couldn't I couldn't pass up the moment. So <laughs> I, okay, let's 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 wrap this back around in the dreams. We might go back to Marvel for the end of the show, but um, <laughs> so with me, you will one hundred percent. Last time we had a molecule grace us, it was the mm. lovely and talented Abby. And I mm. approached her with the question of peripherals for dreams, i.e. Mm. Wacom support, and more importantly, the power glove. Oh, no. Please, <laughs> now, no. Come on. Now, after uh. seeing the design for the new <laughs> PS2 VR, I see that my request made it, <laughs> made it all the way to the top of the Sony devs, okay? I see, I see the power now, okay? So once again... Showing the power of the people and the victory for all mankind and the bringing back of the power glove. Uh, oh. Do you, it, it, <laughs> look, look. All I'm saying is, do is it something that you guys are still continuing to look into? Like the, the idea? No, no. Well, no. The power glove's done. We got the PSVR two with the with the over the arm thing. I've already been satiated. See, everybody doubted me. Everybody doubted me, but I knew it was coming. I knew it. I knew it. I had my brain. Finger on the my, pulse, man. Finger yeah, my pulse. my mind grapes fermented. I was hot, I was just drinking on it already. Okay, so look. Look, look, all I'm saying is, it has, has, you know, no definites, no spoilers or anything, but just in the idea, like, is our peripherals, you know, something that Media Molecule has, has, has just talked about? Like, whether or not yeah. we have all the ones that we need because of, you know, PSVR and the DS4, you know, just, I'm really looking mm. at just like water, water hole. Talk, <laughs> water all talk, like, somebody well, walking by was like man i really like that and then just you know yeah well i guess like we're because we're obviously we're on the playstation so it's like we do we work with what's available on the playstation so we're like but in the one of the updates last year we, we added in aim support like the aim controller yeah um which was really like like it was like a weird it works it works mm-hmm. and i know mc alchemist was hyped about that um <laughs> so no i don't think I don't think we've got anything like act, like actively working, but like MM is so like creative and silly and just like there's gonna be some they're, they're gonna think of something. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't like I don't think I don't think so. I think like we we got aim support because people have asked for it. Um, but I think people like you look at someone like Tanik Howard, he's making all sorts of like fake peripherals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Violin yeah. working with dreams. 
Um, but no, I don't think there's anything. I can't think of anything that we're. Sort of I, like I tell you, I tell you what you guys, with. you guys should work on. Like, have you seen the very weird Dragon Quest PS4 controller? It's just like no. so uncomfortable and <laughs> so weird. You should make an imp-shaped PS4 controller and just have that and move that around. That would just be brilliant. Yeah, it would serve no purpose at all other than pure aesthetics. Xbox Gen like 1 this. controller. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Have yeah. And you have all the finger controls like this. And it's, yeah, they're all around. Yeah. You're like, yeah. 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 No. I, I mean, I'd buy one. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. I'd, I'd love, it. man, like in plushies and stuff. Oh, uh, that, okay. that's actually one of my questions was Dreams merch. Like, when oh. are we going to get some merch? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> not like, not tomorrow. No, but uh, is it, but we, is it we know that you've discussed? Like, we, something we discussed. Or... Yeah, because like, we know how much people would like love it. Um, and we have like some, ama- we have like Miguel has had some idea, like, has obviously like. Our graphic designers always been like, look how cool this would be, look how cool this would be. Mm. Um, so I think we are excited and want to do it. Um, but we haven't, I can't, we've not got anything happening at the moment. But like, I'm always like, oh, we've got like the stickers on the gear store. Um, <laughs> but I know people want more. I, I, and that's kind of like, that's so lovely because it's just people want to like rep it and like, mm. like love it and put that forward. And I think that'll be one of the coolest things if if and when we do to be like, that's a dream shirt. Or that's a that's a dreams thing. Um I just want to I love the idea. I want a cup yeah, man. I want a Connie. I just want to yeah. fill a wall full of them. It'd be brilliant. Yeah, I I love the idea of like, impl- like so many you could have so many. Yeah, you could just have so many, many different impl- It'd be brilliant. Um no, and I like it's like things like the plastic dreamers, like that by Oh uh, yeah. In, by Magma. Magma. Yeah. yeah. It just makes you want it so bad. Yeah. Like no one wants MM uh, Dreams merch more than MM. Because <laughs> like, we're like, yes, please, yes. Please. Like whenever we've had, like when we've gone to shows and stuff, we've had shirts made. Like we had the Dream shirts made for mm. packs, and we're like, and MM were like, oh my god, I, I need one, I need one, I need one, I need one, I need one. I need one. <laughs> and so I think we got some made for the team, um, and then we had a few for community and stuff. So it's out there, but we need to make. We definitely need to make it more official. Mm. Um, and it will be so exciting to be like, like if and when, be like, here you go. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'll let you know. It'll I'll let you know as soon as we do. Sell out as well when it does. Like yeah, and then it'll be gone when, forever. It'll just be gone like forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as soon as. I mean, that's one of the joys of like when I say I'll let you know, I literally mean I'll let you know because yeah. I I do the social. So yeah. I'll be like, I will tweet when we know. Um, but yeah, not right now. So, cool. I um, I'm t- I'm tired of messing around. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's Ooh. let's let's get down to the nitty gritty. No, I'm just. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be a, a bit much, I think. But it is. Don't pay attention to the keywords that we're not going to talk about. Just the feeling. Okay. Okay. Just, just here we go. Here we go. So I think everyone can agree that the main pillars of dreams like the motto is to share and create. Mm. So with that in mind, has it been surprising to media molecule to hear the constant conversations of monetization and exportation, or is it just seen as like a Testament to what's been created and causing Mm. like that, causing the scope to grow? Uh, That's cool. Yeah. I guess it's, I guess. Yeah. Cause it's like one of the things that I've always loved about dreams is that it's the basis for people's career. Like, you can discover a passion, right? Like you could discover like a filmmaking passion or a voice act. Like it's people we've like people that have got dreams have been like, oh, actually voice acting is a viable thing for me. Mm-hmm. Or like art is a viable thing for me. Music is a viable thing for me. So I, it, it definitely, it's definitely like you obviously want to live from this, like make a, make something from it. Yeah. Um, so I guess like spinning that on that head, like removing that conversation of like in dreams, but like the idea that dreams is that catapult for people is amazing. Like the story, like the people we talk to, like, oh, I've got jobs here. I've got like we look at like someone like Jamie or Alistair at MM mm. who are hired from the community, like straight from the community because of what they do in dreams is so exciting. So like the fact that we have this platform and this thing that gives people this sort of like 
motivation and push that they might not have had and because it's so accessible like it's like it's like 30 pounds here in the uk i think it's like 30 dollars or 25 dollars in the us um uh, yeah yeah so like the, i think we when we were when we went like when we were doing this like the launch circuit we're like it's the most accessible creative suite out there like if you have an, if you have a young child who's like unsure about what they want to do but they're creative give it to them and see if they like art see if they like music see if they like making movies um and we've uh, we've had yeah like we've had success like uh jimmy jules went on to get a job in the uh, consult a logic consultant like for a games developer and uh man chicken turtle creator of pip gem walker and slice stuff has developed games and has now launched a studio um and that's so exciting and so yeah i think that that conversation is linked to just people wanting to like they know like and it's the whole thing like you know like people know that their stuff is like decent mm. like it's like they, they have a good game on their hands or they have a good piece of art on their hands and we have we've launched uh, we've launched like the beta evaluation um for early access players where we were, uh, we were talking to them about using it for commercial purposes um and animators and people going to film festivals with their dreams um and that's so exciting that like you can be a part of something that uh, could make someone's like change someone's life. Like you talk to people from like Little Big Planet. Like we have like John Beach, who obviously came from the Little Big Planet community, who's now like senior designer at MM is like the legend of all legends, right? In dreams, like like yeah. we got we, we, trains and breakfast. Ex exactly. <laughs> and um I think being a part of something as important to people such as LB, like such as Little Planet and now Dreams is so like exciting and so like such a proud moment for all of us um because there's nothing better than people realizing what they want to do right like my friend my mate wants to be a voice actor so i got i gave him i gave him a, a copy of dreams and was like practice and just use mm -hmm. this and like you can do so much you can do so much and like the voice act like some of the voice acting in dreams like there's a reason we have an impy category for best voice actor right because like it's award worthy yeah. And it's it's just fantastic, and it's so exciting that there's people that have like that have if they've always wanted to but never quite had the courage can so easily and like privately in your own like your own space like you don't ever have to even share it. You can just mm. like practice your art, practice your, like you don't because I mean that's the thing about dreams like right you don't have to share it with the world if you don't want to like you just create and you can just have it on your like. You just have it on your own private so you just make you just um you just use it for yourself and you you practice your art and you see people don't publish anything until they're like level 200 and they they suddenly release like this 20 hour rpg and it's like the most amazing <laughs> thing you've ever played um so it's such a it's such a powerful um a powerful feeling to be a part of something like that and i'm gonna give you a chance to to you know throw a just a tad bit of shade i don't know if you're gonna take it I don't know if you're going to take it, but I'm going I'm to offer it up to you. Shade. Okay, well, we'll see. No, just okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, last week we saw that uh, Nintendo has basically created a node-based <laughs> dreams-like game. Any hot takes around the MM watering hole on that? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm sure professionally. I'm sure professionally, y'all are like, "Oh, that's cool." Like, yo, I will see what that's like, yo. But I'm giving you a chance to say I'm <laughs> No, I think it's um. <laughs> I have no clue. Community manager slams Nintendo. <laughs> no, I think it's it's so it's so exciting, and I think we're of, of the spirit of like the more the merrier, man. Like the best, like the more accessible things like that are the better like locking things that are that allow creative people with freedom to be creative behind like a crazy like like inaccessible thing um is just against the whole like creativity thing right so like the yeah. more areas that people have to learn and experiment and create with it's just better for the world like it's just yeah. like the risk of getting like cheesy like yeah like the the be it's just better for people because people can explain I there's so there's so, so much power in expression like mm -hmm. and and whether that is games whether that is art music stuff and dreams like just wherever you can get that get it like just like especially when it comes to things like where who who's got what who where who plays where um yeah the more and we love we we love like 
on the MM side, we love it because it's like, oh, we get to see what other people are doing. Like, it shows that there's a space for the stuff that we create. Yeah. Like, we're not just this weird kid. Like, we're not these weird kids in the in the playground that's like waving at everyone, and no one's coming near them. You know, like every everyone yeah. wants to get, and they all have a different take. Um, and like places do things better than other places. Well, that place does something better than that place. Um, so it's just really exciting. I'm so I'm especially for the younger generation because I mean we we have like we inspire that young like with the next generation of game devs, the next generation of musicians, artists need to yeah. find somewhere. Um, and especially in times like now, like people want to get their feelings out. They want to. They think you have so much time to reflect and sort of like analyze yourself um that creation and expression expressing yourself is one of the best things about dreams in the past years that we have given a space for people to let their frustration out or like really like they've got this time on their hands so let's focus on doing this thing that we've always wanted to do um so yeah the more places people get to express and create in the better man yeah it's just great I, I was I was kidding about the throwing shade thing, but I get, <laughs> because no, because I I was talking about like back when we first started this podcast, I was explaining to people like Dreams was literally a game that I was describing that I had wanted for up mm-hmm. like fifteen years before it came out, and and that was born out of the idea that I felt the most underused genre of gaming since I was a kid was educational. Yeah. And and so the idea of, you know, more games coming out that do kind of focus on that educational aspect, which I think, you know, starting with dreams and a lot of them are about to, because I I really do feel like there needs to be, there needs to be more of a shift in a, a balance in it, in the, in the entire industry. But yeah, so ultimately, I agree with you. Yeah. However, no, just I'm... know that I will die on the hill for dreams. That I'll tell you. <laughs> Somebody will be like, "Yeah, well, I got garage week." I'm like, "Yeah, well, me and my dreams gang, we got, we got we... these folks." Yeah, these but, folks. Um... Yeah, I think like one of the things I'm proudest of with us is the like we have an amazing outreach team uh, led by Jem Abdeen, um, who has done so much to get dreams in this in the educational space. And there's obviously a lot of work because then it's, it comes down to like what resources are available, like especially when it comes to like children, like our PS4 is readily available because um, that's that sort of one block. But like we've had like we've had successful courses in schools, um, uni courses, college courses using Dreams. Um, and we've done like BAFTA Young Game Designers and like Girls Make Games. And um, that is like so, so cool. Because that's the other side of it. And like people use dreams for educate. Like I think to yesterday's stream, the times table game that I was playing, like you could put that up in a maths class. Yeah. Like, and that is so cool. Like, imagine like if, if someone didn't know what was going on and their teacher just gets a PlayStation out, there'd be there'd be a generation that'd be like, Why are you getting video games out in front of the kids? Like, what's going on? And then you show them this, like, that could be really really effectively used for like quick math skills mm. um and like yeah we've like we had we, yeah we've had teachers reach out like oh i'm using dreams for this using it for this 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 and that is like that so when i when i started and learned that that was a space we wanted to get into it was like yes like because there's nothing there's nothing else like it um and that is that is really really cool yeah this is where i need to make my uh starship or my starship troopers like i'm doing my part like yeah (laughs) like (laughs) add because like i've been telling people like ever since like i am the i I dubbed myself the unofficial ambassador of dreams (laughs) towards the beginning of the podcast but like you know i i have been on a mission to try to get it into as many hands as I can. Like I've, I've spent Amazing. over $300 on dreams, just buying it for people. Oh, dude. <laughs> just, 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 just trying to get it out there because I know that like a bunch of my friends that, you know, kind of let their talents fall away because of life, you know, yeah. and, and how just, you know, our time is time is always against us like the matrix. Yeah. And, so, and so, um, 
you know, just they'll be creative or they try to get their kids into being creative and, you know, but they don't have time to really cultivate that with them. They'll be, they'll be like, yeah, what does your child like to do? And they'll be like, yeah, she likes to paint. And, you know, she's really getting into making music. I'm like, oh, well, there's this thing called dreams. (laughs) My wife now says everything leads to dreams because no no matter what, I always turn the conversation to dreams now. Um, But yeah, like I I just think it really is important. Important. My wife. Well, thank says you. That I mean, my life has become dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like it's. I could. I can't. I was, like. I definitely speak on behalf of the team and say like, thank you for that. Like, thank you for that support for like both of you and like things like the podcast. Like, just getting involved and spreading the word is so cool because it is. Dreams is weird. Like, it is this weird. Like, it's this strange thing, and it's hard to explain. But I think when you get it in front of people, then it you see. You. Could, I, I don't think I've ever seen something click with like click in someone's mind mm. um like li- literally the only thing i think is like when lila went into a puddle of water and realized she liked water i was like that was the same magic it's like oh my god yes this thing is so good mm. yeah um and yeah it's people like get yourselves and the, like the community is such like we always say the community is such an important part of dreams and it is but for so many different reasons because like obviously there's the filling up with all the brilliant stuff but there's the the championing the the sharing the supporting um and it never goes unnoticed like it will and it will never will um even like if we go quiet like when we're working on stuff and like we're not doing bits and pieces but like we're always listening we're always and we're always so thankful like the awards that we've been winning to have the moment of like we've won awards this year like <laughs> they're obviously like are like mm's all but like they they belong to the community as well because it's just like really making that realization of what dreams is like getting that word out there and like the social like social media is powerful right like it's a powerful tool but like for dreams it's like it's essential like you look at things on like twitter and you see people sharing the videos and like just those moments where you see someone be like that's dreams and it's like thousands of thousands and thousands of engagements and it's like yeah that's like you want to just be like, yeah, it's cool. Like it's, and it can do this. And I think as soon as you get in front of people, then they start to realize, and that's down to like people like you, like getting it out there and raising the awareness. And it's just so important. So thank you. Well, it's my pleasure. It really is. It really is. Uh, it's everything I want. It's everything I wanted. And while I'm not mm-hmm. great, at it yet <laughs> i don't know man that dino teaser yeah i mean <laughs> like you know i i'm it's never going to be good enough for me that's just my curse uh, that's <laughs> like i can do better curse. but um yeah. but uh thank you um for the raid uh, sorry to everybody that's just showing up and noticing that this video might not be keeping up with the audio mm. we've been troubleshooting it and not sure Except not sure what on. yeah we're we're just <laughs> moving on with it for now um i don't yeah i apologize but hopefully you enjoy the conversation um do, but that does do you, go ahead do you mind if i just jump in with with a question i i i, I do only okay. no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh. no 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 i just want yeah, to go ahead bro. <laughs> See, we like to, we like to josh each other every day. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. No, um, yeah, it was about um, like you know, we, we've had Arch Dream, mm. and that was like your first major game within Dreams. Like, obviously, you had all the sort of mini games, but Arch Dream was sort of like the main big one. Yeah, and I, I appreciate like you know, Arch Dream was there to sort of demonstrate all the different things you can do with Dreams as a whole yeah. collective game. And is there any is there anything else that we can expect to come from you guys in the future? Like, do you plan to make more original content to publish within Dreams? Yeah, like definitely. Like we like we have like the, the team are working on some really cool things. Um, we're working on cool things in the community team. We have other teams working on cool things in Dreams that you you will play. Mm. Um, because I think that that's. One of the things, right? Like we we made this we made, like art stream is so cool. Like it's this massive thing. But how how do you follow that? Like what do you yeah. do? Um, mm-hmm. And we obviously like first and foremost, it's supporting dreams as the creative suite it is and making it better and like that aspect because that's obviously the the bigger part. Like our art stream is like the poster child for it. Mm, yeah. Um, mm. but, the core, but yeah, we the team are working on some really cool. Like there's a couple of projects that are really cool. 
Um, I hope Abby doesn't mind me saying that they're like, that's fine. I think that's fine to say that they're <laughs> Don't cool. get yourself in trouble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there's some really cool, uh, there's a couple of projects that are really, really cool. Uh, one uh, that we're working on in the community that I think people are really going to like. Awesome. Um, that's sort of, that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's going to be stuff to play. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call myself out because uh, I think, I think my, um, I think my integrity is being challenged as if I'm as if I'm trying to <laughs> omit information. So I'll go oh, ahead man. with insane alpha beta. He said, Jamie, 100 points. If you comment how mighty hated art's dream. So I'd like to talk. <laughs> so I'd like to talk okay. about that. So I'd like to talk okay, about that. Go, yeah, let's go into it. Let's go into it. Because I th- someone put it, someone put it a lot better than I was able to describe it when I was catching heat for this. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that it's not that I hated Art's dream. It's I'm that it's 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 that basically I it was a tech demo. Mm. And and and, mm. and that's how it was supposed to be approached from what people tell me. When I first saw it, I was looking I was personally not looking for a tech demo. I was yeah. looking for a full-on production. Like, yeah. the, you know, like the full on, like just heavy story based production and it didn't hit with me. Now, everything that was done in it did because it was like, oh, yo, yeah. you can do all yeah, this. Yeah. But yeah. when I but when I finished when I finished our dream, I was ready to jump into dreams. Mm. But I was but I wasn't at that point where I was just like, yo, I got to go back through that again. Like sure. that's how that's how I took it. So that's me going ahead and letting it be known. So I'm not fronting in front of media molecule <laughs> or anything like that. Well, mighty, my, mighty vicious is 100 percent every time. Okay, so the, it's, <laughs> that's we'll just go no, from that's, there. That's fine. The, yeah, yeah. That's, that's absolutely fine. I think yeah, it, like it, I I loved it. I think it was obviously I'm. I always try and not, I always say I'm not biased, like, but I obviously, like, no one's ever going to believe that. I'm not going to be him like, shit. Uh, I, really, I, like, like, I really, I really loved it because I remember seeing it. I didn't actually play Artstream until it launched because I was like, I wanted to play it alongside everyone else. Mm. So I sat down on launch night. Obviously, I, I knew about it and I knew, and like, people like Costa or Alexandra were like, you should just play it. Just play like play it before everyone else has played it. So you can and I was like, no, I'm gonna sit down and play it on the night and get and get hyped. And people were like, when dream we were in we were in Berlin when early when the game went to early access players and people start were able to play at Art's Dream then. Mm. And I was with Mark Healy. And we were just looking through people's reactions. And people were like, because obviously it wasn't long. So people were finishing it in a night and like it was so cool seeing those reactions and we saw people like you like saying oh that like for that was it mm. and it was like yeah that was it because this obviously it was made to just be like i always i always explain in interviews like it was us flexing yeah yeah like it was us being like look what we can do with the lighting um so yeah i, like, I think it's it's always it's got its fans it's got its people that weren't fans but i think it's just such a cool space um to jump into at when you pick up dreams especially now because it's been around for a couple of years the, the expectation on that aspect of it is different yeah, yeah. um but it, spe- it just speaks to how much you want like something like you know what we can do yeah um because we've done the cool stories but yeah i think i totally hear you I mean, I let's, totally hear, like, let's let's put it into perspectives that i think everyone can understand for for the viewpoint and for one of them we're gonna have to go back to marvel see <laughs> Doctor, always, always Doctor, uh, Doctor, yeah. Doctor Strange, the first movie, a year and a half before it came out, Marvel had let slip this little information where they were like, it's going to be our first venture into a horror film. Yeah. And, I, and I was like, mm-hmm. what? Yes, yeah, right? please. I was like, here we but, go. Here uh, we go. I was like, yeah, I was sweating. I was looking like I was in that Gangster's <laughs> Paradise music video. And I was just sweating. And the, the light was hitting me from the side. And I was just, I was ready. I was ready. Everything in me, my everything in me was ready. And I was like so excited. <laughs> and then when it came out, 
the first time I watched Doctor Strange, it wasn't that horror movie. So I was yeah. like, I heard it is a horror movie if you're doing some extracurricular stuff on the side of watching the movie, <laughs> but I don't do that. So like I was I was a little bit di- I was a little bit disappointed. So mm. you know, and then I went back and I've I'm I'm I think this is the second time this year where I'm just rewatching all of them in in Good order. Man. And but it left me with that taste when I first saw it of just like that's not that's not what I that's not what I wanted that and this is a problem a lot of fans have across yeah. many genres is it's like you're supposed to be there for the art being put out by someone else not necessarily for what you wanted from the yeah. thing and you know go ahead yeah sorry no I don't mean to interrupt um, you don't. but I think that's thing because Art Dream is such a personal like personal story it's the story that like MM wanted to tell. So I think, and that's kind. Of, it kind of speaks to that era of dreams. It's like, I think that's one of the things that we we always talk about. It's like, that was what we wanted to make with dreams, and that's the same for anyone, right? Like, yeah, something that someone makes in dreams is not going to be for everyone. Um, but we obviously had the other thing of like, we're doing, we're using the tools we make, so we're going to show off. Yeah. Um, but then that makes sense why some people are like, no, that's not what I want because it's not like you're not us, right? Yeah. And we're not you. Yeah, um, it, and so yeah, I feel like totally, and we've had like yeah, like, I think it is so cool. It's such a it's such power, but it's dreams are so much more than that now. Yeah, mm. um, and, yeah. Go on, sorry. Well, and to put it into into the other thing is there's nothing I can tell you about Art's dream where I'm just like, no. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> like I love I love the artwork. I love the design. I love the lighting. I like the stuff being shown in the tech demo. It's just, you know, to to, to even narrow it down even more. Y'all know that movie Real Steel? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the first time that movie was explained, like I saw a synopsis for it. There was this the the synopsis was like <laughs> an old an old boxer <laughs> an old boxer trying to make ends meet and repair a relationship with his son uh fights against uh or fights in a what well, fights in a sport now dominated by machines and I was like wait so it's a movie about a guy who's fighting machines in a boxing ring holy hell I'm in I'm in. I'm all the way in. I want to see this. And and then I got real steel. And I was like, <laughs> you get you. I love you. Got me I excited. Love, yeah. <laughs> I I I can't wait to tell people that Art Stream is being compared to the Hugh Jackman starring vehicle. Real steel. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's <laughs> that's not the takeaway. Well, Eminem, Eminem, Eminem is going to ban me after this guy. So <laughs> I hope we're all good. I hope we got everything we needed out of this. But no, yeah, I get, I get you. I get your, le- I get what level you're on. And, um, yeah, that's what, and I think that's that's really important because we just like it still gets that reaction, right? Like it's, there's still mm. a reaction there. Um, and I think it's it's yeah I'm it's it's always a really cool conversation to have about art stream I think because it is so it's so like you couldn't get it anywhere else yeah like you couldn't like it only, it only exists in dreams mm. and um then you just get into the whole conversation about what creativity is what interests are um so yeah like we're obviously really proud of them we're proud of the reaction to it um even like reactions like yours because it creates conversation mm. yeah. And if you want to, you know, hard edge somebody that's, you know, coming at it full steam, be like, oh, yeah, well, do better. And that's what <laughs> and look, so you was, have our tools that, to do it. <laughs> that was one, that was one of the funnest conversations when we were launching. Uh, we we're like, like during early access, we're like, if someone beats us. <laughs> like, we're like, we're screwed. <laughs> but we obviously knew that we had like we had something really impressive, but like. Yeah, there's like there's experiences that we consider akin to our stream that might not be as like, um, but I remember like when Slayer Scrolls launched in early access or the beta, I think it was the beta even. Mm. You know, someone's made an RPG in dreams. Like it's just like it's like one of the th- probably one of the things Alex Evans said in the interview was like you can't do RPG. Like you just couldn't like, and someone goes and does it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we were just like, oh, if Artstream gets beat, like, if we're going to release Artstream, someone's like, oh, no, this is better. 
but then it's like that's fine because we were looking at ourselves as just creators mm. like we were just using the tools to make the game um and then by the time our stream came out obviously there was the dreamverse was populated with thousands of games elsewhere so you you finish our stream you're like oh, cool then you go play the other mm bits and pieces and then you've just got this whole universe of other stuff um yeah man I lost my train of thought when I said universe. I was like, I just said the word universe. <laughs> Are we um, back on the MCU? No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, Bobby Love says, multi-genre games are my jam. I want to make them as well. Thank you for Art's Dreams. Such mm. inspo. So, oh, it's very Thank you, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, I think like that. Yeah, and that's the, right? You just go, it's just, it's everything. Like, it is everything. Like, it's a rhythm game. It's a, platformer it's a side scroller it's a point and click adventure it's a but then it still manages to tell a cohesive thing um yeah i'll always i always remember playing it for the first time um i played like two or three levels when i first started and i was like this is, this is cool um but then i was like no i want to i want to play it with everyone else and um yeah it was a really cool day how long did it take to make art stream Oh, I couldn't. I, like, in, even even if I could tell you, I couldn't tell you. Uh, no, no I, I don't know. I, I, it took. I know it went through different. Like, there were different stories. We've shown some concept videos of what it was before. I think in our launch stream, we showed that there was a there was a. I can't remember what her name was, um, but it originally was about this little girl. Then it was about a father, and it's changed and chopped, chopped and changed. Uh, so it was a good few years. Um, and then, like all games, it was all like in the part in the last like year, it all really came together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly like, I would tell you if I could. Are we um, gonna get? Are we gonna get the Tom Dent cut? Of our stream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll voice everyone. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, no. <laughs> <That would be laughs> We're gonna just make it. We're just gonna make it go around Twitter now. Hashtag We need the dent cut. The dent cut. <laughs> yeah. I like it. From Kareem. Be like, I like it. <laughs> leave my <laughs> leave my art stream alone. <laughs> yeah, so, no, I, I, yeah, it's a, it's a cool, it's a cool thing. It's a yeah. Cool thing. So, like, I know that uh, when dreams was still in the shadows when y'all were like we're not gonna let everyone do it <laughs> like <laughs> i know y'all had like spoken with double fine and other studios um like has there i'm trying to think of a way to ask this where it's not something that's immediately just like i can't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> but like, has there, I guess, has there been any interest, like, from other studios regarding the engine? Mm. As, as... Uh, I wouldn't say the engine as such, rather than just dreams. Like, people just, like, the studios just want to, like, we have, we're obviously really good friends with, like, a lot of the PlayStation studios. Mm. Like, like, we have to be friends. Like, we, <laughs> we can't be, we can't be infighting. Um, so, and everyone's really low. And they're all obviously creatives. Like, they mm. all, like, they have, they all use dreams and it's really exciting. So we've obviously talked talk about like what's possible, but like we look at something like last, no, last year. Yeah. Last year we had Josh from Insomniac. Yeah. Make uh, Ratchet, Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Yeah. And that was so cool. And um, yeah, that like those kind of opportunities are really, really cool. So yeah, like they're, 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 it's just more about just like, what can we do with dreams? And obviously we've not got anything, we've not got it, but we've done like, We've worked with other, like we did the uh, Ghost of Tsushima piece of art that we worked mm. with uh, Sucker Punch on. We did the Last of Us uh, thing where we, because that's the cool thing about dreams, like we like you get the artist, but we can actually just make it the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've done like little like collaborations with bits and and like there's like little facts like um, Concrete Genie uses uh, tech from Dreams um, for the uh, the genies. Mm -hmm. i oh, think it's okay. the genies i think it is um they they we i think we lent some of it i don't know i don't know how you lend people tech but we just did <laughs> um <laughs> so, so we're, we're, they're, those games are linked um but yeah it's more just like passion for what dreams is like there's there's not real sort of like can we use the engine it's just like can we just play in the game yeah mm. so we had a question from chet well actually i feel like i've been running no 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 no, 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 no. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just here for the ride. You carry on. <laughs> uh, 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 no. Well, <laughs> uh, Shizny said, when do you think Media Molecule will be able to stream from the office again? No, I can I honestly can tell you. Like when we when we will when we can we will um but we're not gonna rush do anything until yeah like we're we're yeah we're not gonna rush into anything like when when it's fine um I can't wait to be on the office in the office and on the sofa um with people because it's just gonna be great like the energy like here in the UK we've started the, the restrictions have started to come so like being able to see people in real life again that's been so like the energy you get from people like seeing other people is like so. Well, I'm very lucky to be in a situation where I have, I do live with someone else. Um, but so much like respect to people and like so much love to people that ha- haven't got that opportunity. Um, but yeah, we're not going to rush into anything. Like we will be back in the office when we'll be back in the office. We'll like, like when I, I like the idea. I kind of like the idea of just suddenly one day the stream were in the office. Mm, yeah. But also not good. Not good. Cause that'd be, cause that'd be fun. Um, yeah. But I, I don't think, I couldn't hold. I wouldn't. I'd be too excited. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll be back in the office next Thursday. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be. And like, then there's obviously the personal side of it. Like, I'm like when I'm happy to. Um, so yeah, it would be me and my spare room and Thomas for a little while. Um, but yeah, there's no date. There's no date. Hmm. Okay. But on a more. On a more heavier note. Mm. And I use the word note, here as a segue. Can we ever expect your band Levelhead to make a song in Dreams? <laughs> yeah, have, you, have you approached them with the idea of it? Like, have you said like we should do this or like you know I... what, what's the situation here? Because I, I... I've heard your song on. Oh, on, nice. On, yeah, I've heard your song on Spotify. And I was like, why is he? Why is this? Why has this not been recreated in Dreams yet? Like, what? What's happening? Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, we um. I use dreams, so I make I do make music in dreams, but I keep it I do keep it private on my console because mm. I like like a lot of people I'm like oh, I don't want to publish things. Uh, I need to, so I use that as a space to make things, like to practice bits and pieces. Mm. Um, we've not made I like I like I really love the idea of us doing a music video in dreams. Oh yeah, I because like, um, that'd be sick. Like even just for again and again. Um, but they're both they they all they all play on it. They all. Uh, mess around with it and we all use it for similar things but yeah we've not actually produced something yet but maybe going back to my first point of like making a band produce an album there you go yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah because your own band i, I know it. a few people i know a few people i get ed <laughs> i get ed to help me out yeah um, all, all i heard yeah. out of that whole thing was that you're keeping things from us yeah yeah i, I need i need to start publishing things a bit <laughs> now i'm telling um, you if you could somehow acquire rob dugan for yeah. for a track i would love that that would be it i would i would i would just come to the uk i would just make <laughs> my way across the pond and it would just be done and done be like i have to see this i have to okay. yeah, no. <laughs> yeah i've like i i make i i've played i've done a few tunes on dreams and i'm just going back again to like perfectionist thing i'm, like, I'm not there i'm not like like I, I I consider myself some sort of like musician, but I play an instrument. But I I don't do the writing and but I just play what I'm told and I play it okay. <laughs> um, so I've got a few bits, but I'm not quite there with anything. And like I know that I know I'm then on stream, but like just publish it, man. Like just just yeah, go for just it. Go for it. But then I go back into my hole. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not do it. <laughs> I I want I've made I have made a promise to release something this year on dreams music wise um so I will, I will crack down on myself please do and uh yeah i will i will, I will let everyone know when it's when it's time um right. mm. well now i've committed i've said yeah, it publicly yes yes, yes we got him we got him we got him ladies and <laughs> we gentlemen got him. we got him <laughs> <laughs> if if it gets to if we're celebrating if we're doing the third annual impies I've not released anything. Call me out. I'll like, just, just, yeah, just be like, you promised. Where, where, where's this music, man? Like, yeah, where, you where promised. is this track? And I'll hang my head in shame. <laughs> in shame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we had uh, a question in chat. When's the Marvel slash Dreams 
collab. <laughs> Can Ooh, you imagine? Please. I don't think I, I, I don't think MM would even let us because of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my God. I think they'd be like, I think if, even, if, even if it happened, they'd be like, we can't let him know. No, we just keep they'll it just, like they'll just be like, yeah, we'll just the, Tom just tweet this. And then it'll be like, oh yeah, like, ah! um, <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Like, I'm bad enough when we when we're like with like people at E3, or so I'm like, hi, yeah. Um, or like even someone retweets them, I'm like, yeah. Like we did the um, Jumanji thing, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Uh, that that was fun. So Jamie Breeze had been like with us for like two weeks, and we were like, we need you to go to Hawaii. I mean, he's used to go and play Dreams with The Rock and Jack Black and Karen Gillan and Kevin Hart. And bless his heart. He was on that sofa being like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Fine. Um, so that was so cool, man. Like, I, was like, I, like, I have the, the dual shock that I have next to me. It was like The Rock. Or Jack Black's or someone. I'm like, yes. Yeah. I'm having it forever. <laughs> so I'm always like, guess who's touched this controller? Yeah. I will never and, wipe this yeah. controller again. And then I'm like, me. <laughs> yeah. I touched this controller. <laughs> and Jack Black. Um, no, yeah, but I can't imagine. Like, I just, I think they'd be like, no, we can't purely because our community manager will explode. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I mean, I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I I mean, myself. See, the tr the trick is, is you explode in front of the people you work with, and then you go calm when you right. do the actual right. call. <laughs> like, oh, I really like dreams. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's all right. Your, your um, movies are all right. Yeah. You're fine. I think I've watched most of them. Yeah, <laughs> I fell uh, asleep in one or two. Oh no! No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd be a disaster. Be a disaster. <laughs> Yeah, that breaks the rules. There's there's, <laughs> there's, there's rules to things <laughs> when it comes to movies with me. People know. People know. But um, uh, I'm trying to think what was the last. There was one more question we had from people submitting questions beforehand, and I'm trying to mm. locate it. Um, let me see here. While I'd put, what does Tom's controller smell like? Jack Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> perfect, perfect. How did you do, Jack? I mean, I feel like I, I feel like we've gone over this already, but uh, Insane Alpha Beta asked. Many dreamers, myself included, are are of the belief that AAA games, in terms of polish and quality, are possible in dreams. Do y'all think it's possible as well? To which yeah. I my answer, if you, if I can do this one real quick, is <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already we we've seen it. It's 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 called yeah. dreams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I mean, it's it's a it's a weird conversation, isn't it? Like, what what is AAA? Like, mm. what does that mean? And I when people are like, oh, can I make this FPS game? It's like, well, hundreds of people work on those games, so sure, but like, you'll probably spend years. Like we don't, I think it's one of the things is like, it's like, how, how would you do it? Like, I think dreams excels when you have a really like unique idea or really like refined, like focused idea. Um, and we have like games that feel as good as AAA games, like, like uh, Call of the Battlefront, which is just like a solid FPS yeah. game. Um, and you, but yeah, I think, it's, I think one of those things is like those games have hundreds and hundreds of people paid people mm. working five days a week to make the games don't stress yourself out like it's just not like it's just not worth it make make a game that you're happy with um if you want to spend years making one game and making it that then fine because that's game development hey like that's what it is mm. yeah. um but it just depends it depends on what you want um depends on your skills like there is that skill base to it like if it's your first game you're, pro you're not going to make a yeah. God of War. Try and aim for something um, a little smaller. <laughs> yeah, make a platform and make a make a, a point and click adventure. Like we much prefer those smaller, more exciting. Like, they're so exciting. There's so much more emotion and power mm. in a in a game that's got that someone's passionate about, rather than striving for X type of quality. 
um yeah, you look at our stream. Like our stream is done by us. Like that, that is like that's like triple A, um, yeah. and that took us years. And there was multiple people working on it. That said, someone's probably going to publish something tomorrow that's the best game ever made. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Got to eat my own words now. Yeah. <laughs> Which does kind of bring me to uh, the pictures that were in the intro. Uh, mm. A few people that follow me know that I've been kind of trying to put together a, like my first dreams game because mm. everything I've done so far has been for my own little like short film type things that I'm working on in the background. But yeah. um, I plan to finally listen to the advice of all the great creators that we've talked to up <laughs> till now. And I think I'm going to start streaming uh, either Monday or Tuesday, and I'm going oh, to amazing. attempt to make Bot Alien or Battalion into nice. my first game. And I'm going to be asking for a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> but but we're going to start out by drawing it out because a bunch of people have said, you know, they start by like drawing the like Mario style level, basically. Yeah. And for me, I've always just formulated things in my head and then just yeah. gone from there. So I'll think about something for like three months and then I'm like, OK, time to go. And I'll just yeah. start doing things because it works easier in what I've done before dreams. Um, but, yeah, we're going to I'm going to try to make that's so exciting a, a, a game and hopefully people can help me. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can I, 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 I love that uh side of the streaming dreams scene mm. like the collaborative nature of it all like someone streaming getting suggestions from how to like even on our streams like when it's an mm jam stream the chat is suggesting things to do and that's just so cool there's nothing else like that um so yeah man get going like get going get on there people will help out and like obviously there's any uh, stream advice is open Mm. So there's gonna be stuff to help. That's so exciting, man. I just That's have to so relinquish. Exciting. I have to relinquish control, which is yeah. which is like the thing for me. As we talked about with Kataya last week, like you know, every I want everything to be a specific way, but I also don't have time to make sure that that's the way that everything can be. So so I've kind of just been stuck in this thing of like, okay, I'm working on these things now and I'm just going to focus on making movies. Screw it. Yeah. (laughs) Like I'm not even going to venture into games, but now I'm trying to, I'm trying to open it up and and go into games to kind of force myself to learn those aspects of dreams that I haven't, then they're just not, I guess, they just don't click with me it automatically yeah. like mm-hmm. cuz cuz sculpting though i wasn't good at it like it still clicked with me i was like yes shapes i'm an artist this works like <laughs> you yeah. know and then it's just technique but yeah so we'll see and donut we uh yeah we unfortunately we're not going into that today um just because just, yeah just because yeah. <laughs> It's great. I've not got I've not got the chat open because I'm risk I don't want to risk my internet so I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> well, Everyone could be absolutely put, like diving into me and I'm just I'm just sat here smiling. <laughs> like, yeah, look at the way he's smiling. Look at that <laughs> stupid face. I'm just there like. Uh, uh, well, no, it's just something that we had we had brought up before we went live. Sure. Um, yeah, so but it was mm-hmm. something that we're just not going to go into. Um, uh but yeah so basically yeah i am frag says sculpting is a pain in my butt and yeah but frags is like that guy <laughs> that does everything and so like <laughs> frags, like nice. like nice. sculpting is like the only thing that he has any trouble with so just know that there's you know there's a ton of people who'd like to yeah. be at your level of sculpting but also have your knowledge of logic and music making and all that other stuff that the, you know me being one of them you know <laughs> me, me being one of, I, sculpting is sculpting is my thing but well my thing you know i'm no genius at it yeah. but it's you know but at the same time like i know nothing when it comes to as everyone here knows logic i'm just starting to learn music in dreams as it's the first music yeah. program i've ever dealt with outside of just yeah. me playing my guitar like in in real life yeah. <laughs> it's know? different it's different like it's a different scene and i think yeah. there's nothing i think when people are like oh i can't do it it's like you, you can like and you can't if you if as long as you like 
giving up is like you that's it right like you that's you never you're not, you're not going to do it if you're like i can't do it yeah. um but you see people grow like it's one of the coolest like i remember when we launched dreams we did the my first dream stuff on social media oh. where people were to post their first thing and their last thing and you can you seeing the people's growth and that goes back again to what we we're saying about like people finding their career paths if someone was there like i can't paint i just can't do it and then they paint me like okay actually maybe i can then you publish it and people get you get a great reaction you're like okay i want to evolve it mm. so i think you spend the time with it you're going like you can do it um yeah. and then if you can't then there's people in the dream that can yeah so that's the beauty out. of it collaboration yeah, right yeah, yeah i'm, still, I'm uh, still working on that first logic thing i was working on <laughs> 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 but but yeah like having someone come in and, and be able to do it or show you how is like i said yeah. it's just that community that really breeds positivity mm. yeah and that's the one of the loveliest things about the whole thing is there's just no there's no negativity in anything no matter people's skill level high or low um everyone supports everyone and you see like friendships relationships form from it all i want to give a shout out to a, a site that's just launched eager imp which is like if you've not seen it it's an amazing site that's basically an lfg site for dreams um where you, yeah if they launched uh, a few uh, a couple months back but they've just had a redesign and it's um, that kind of area is like looking for like it's looking for a group so like i'm looking for x person to do x person because oh, yeah, we don't all this. Yeah, yeah and we don't have because we don't have a space in dreams for that outside of like the commentary or psn messages mm. so if you are looking for people uh you obviously you can use twitter and x but like eager imp is a great great startup site yeah. Um, so I just wanted to give them a shout out just on the back of what you're saying. Awesome. James, here's your chance. Yeah. <laughs> here's your chance. <laughs> Come jump in there. No, I think I think we're good. I think I think we're good to wrap up. Uh, I mean, fine. I mean, we can if go for a few more hours. If that's how I mean, are, you, are you sure? I just think because it's like it, over here, like in the UK, it's 10 o'clock and I don't want to keep poor Tom too long. Oh yeah. So if we've got if we've got more questions, I'm happy to answer more questions. Well, I mean, if, we're just... here, if we're here next Friday, I've got I've got to go to Newcastle on the weekend. But <laughs> <laughs> we still here on Friday. Then fine. I do. I would like to have you back on once I figure out what's Lovely. going on with all of this. But yeah. also yeah. with that, I would like to say let's try to start this out as a challenge where it's like we had Abby. Abby was like, "Hey, hit up Tom Dent." So yeah. now we got Tom. Tom, oh. you need to go back to the office and be like, who are you sending to us? Who are you sending <laughs> yeah. to us next? You ask and I can ask. And, I I'll mean, just put on, I'll put the puppy dog eyes on. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. No, please do. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking Jen. Yeah, but, I, mm, let's do it, man. Jen, yeah. is, Jen is the best. Like Jen has started in what, like December? Last year, I think she started like the week before we broke up for Christmas, mm. and she already she already had the ideas for like Insider, and like I think what she's done for Dreams has just been, and it's the same for like uh, Ali and Jacob with the curation side of it, has just transformed it. Like it's just been such a boost to the community side of everything, and I think people are really enjoying it. And she's just been such a, an amazing addition to the team. Mm. Yeah, let's get let's get Jen chatting to you guys. I think yes. she'd love it. Get those okay. puppy dog eyes working. Yeah, yeah I'll ask her. I'll be like, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Jen. Well, we did have a question from Insane Alpha Beta, and I'm not sure because I think I think there's documentation online that covers this, uh, in case mm. you can't answer it. But he says, I forgot to ask Tom if he could go into any detail on how ownership works in dreams. Like under what circumstances mm. do we own what we make? Like if I make mm. something remixable, do I still own the asset or song? Yeah, I, I, in all honesty, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really speak to like <laughs> the ins and outs. And like in, in all seriousness, like in all seriousness, yeah, like I think it, it's a really tricky subject, and we know it's one that's tricky. There is some bits and pieces on docs.indreams.me um, that cover some bits and pieces. That I'm not gonna, tr I'm not gonna try and remember what they say, um, but I can link you uh insane i i will i'll track down the link um because it is a murky subject and mm. we obviously have that we have we have the copyright conversation with a lot of people um for all aspects of that area so i'm not gonna 
I don't want to tie myself down into a hole where I've said something and then everyone's like, Tom said it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, this does go on YouTube and Spotify and, and, and yeah. Apple Podcasts. And then it's a spiral. And it's yeah, a it's imprinted forever. Um, so I will, uh, if that's all right uh, in saying alphabetical, I will try and link you to the sheet where Siobhan did a post about it. Um, so I will link you. Speaking of another person we'd like to have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I must ask because it does come up whenever we bring up Media Molecule. When, when are we going to see Kareem again? Oh like, man! What? What? what, what this, he just, he, he, it's, it's like he just ghosted and he's gone. Yeah, he, he's, he's too cool. Yeah, he's, he's too he's cool. Just too cool for streams. He's too yeah. cool for it. No, I think that goes back to what we're saying about working from home and stuff. Some people just aren't set up. Mm. um and we've done a couple of cream and like people's home lives are different and like busyness and like where well, mm's really busy at the moment um so it's just finding the right time um but he he wants to he he really wants to um because he loves them and we love them like there is nothing better than a kareem stream i'm just on the other end of the mic just being like yeah man <laughs> no, he could like he could stream for hours. Um, he's, he's just like the philosopher of dreams, isn't he? He is. He's just, just the best. He's just the best human. Um, so as soon as possible, as soon as he's able to, he he wants to. Um, it's just the setup, like because something like like Kareem is such such a like a he just benefits from being like in front of a camera, talking, and you see like it's hypnotic, isn't it? Watching yeah, him yeah. move. Um, so no, it, it it's not forgotten. He wants to. We haven't got a date yet, um, but I do keep. I not, pestering is a bad word. But there's a possibility. Every, That's all we. Every, yeah, every it's... every now and then he gets a message from me saying, "Do you want to do it?" And he's like, "Yes, fun." <laughs> um, so he will. He will be back. Good. All right. All right, it's just we just that's need that little need. bit. Of, yeah, we yeah. just that's need all you need. You just need that confirmation that he'll be. Yeah. <laughs> so why Ledbetter asked, when will you open a U.S. office? And this is a very big, this is a very big question right here. Yeah, I can we see need, you looking into my we, eyes. We well. need to know. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm asking not only that you hear me, but that you also smell my eyes and understand. <laughs> what do that we need I the smell like? <laughs> Truth. <I> smell- <laughs> 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 um, God knows. No, I had no idea. We so I was I was telling these guys um, before we started that we technically have like international MM offices that just so happen to be like one person. So we have like kidney in Australia. So that's MM Australia, but it's just kidney in this house. <laughs> so for like that, we have like MM Surrey and we have MM London. Um, no, no idea. If we do though, we let you know. Okay. Okay. Of course. All right. <laughs> you know, uh, just just saying. Like uh, we, some of us, are, some of us are ready to become corporate if we have. To. That's <laughs> a, just, <laughs> we're ready to learn the PR speak. You know, we're there yeah. for you when you guys need us. Just tell us where to go. We'll be there. We'll be there. You know, Pennsylvania. See, eight eight hundred pixel gorilla said, "Open it in Dallas." To which I said, "Please God, not Texas." And. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Capital TV said PA is nice, and I agree with that one. Pennsylvania is yeah. nice. Um, it, it, yeah. I feel like it 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 offers it it offers more of that more of that tree line that you really need, like that mahogany. It offers more dent. There's way more mahogany in PA that you can just like. You know what? I can go to work today. This smells like dent. And it's, it's, I mean, North Carolina, please God, no, 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 that's See, a no. This is, this is why, this is why we can't do it. We can't decide yeah. on location. No, that's it. I'm There's telling you, I'm states. telling you, I'll be the unofficial you ambassador. The, yeah. the unofficial ambassador will scout director. the locations for you. I'd be down. Nice. I'd be down. Nice. And I won't choose, and I won't choose my home state either. 
That's no. I'm willing. I'm willing no, to go wait. where y'all will be most it welcomed. Went. It'll just so happen to be in your home state on your street. Yeah, in yeah. your house, and you have space in your yeah. loft. Yes, it's, it's just available. Yeah. Yes, I'll just be like, it y'all just makes sense. There. It just makes Yeah, it's just convenient. It just makes sense. <laughs> Oh, let me see here. Will you um, open applications for U.S. residents? Hey, I, wait a minute. Are you asking me? Wait a minute. Did I get the yeah. position already? I'm the leader of MM America. Yes, as the unofficial uh, ambassador of Media Molecule, please. Be, uh, I'm joking. Everybody, the lawyers, don't come for me. <laughs> but if they do, and if you are asking me, then yes, I will open applications for U.S. Uh, residents. But... I believe, because uh, someone else asked this when y'all put up the post for jobs, and I believe Media mm. Molecule isn't ready to do that yet. Correct. Yeah, we're not. We're we're only accepting uh, UK multitude of reasons. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're only accepting UK applications at the moment. Um, what if what if I, you live in the US but you're willing to move to the UK immediately? No, <laughs> <laughs> well, I will be there works. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I I. I, uh, yeah, we have only UK applications at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but those kind of things, like because that's such an important part of role, like if it ever says otherwise, then it means it. Um, yeah. But yeah, right now it's only UK applications. Hmm. You see, I have the advantage of being in the UK, but have nothing to give to Media Molecule in regards of talent. <laughs> <laughs> It's not true. We have the podcast to give to Media Molecule. <laughs> that's our that's our one shot. That's our one shot unless they hire screenwriters. In which case I might have something else in the box. But uh, but no. Um so uh, Capital TV, uh, Captain Morgan, said, uh, mm. Tom, I missed your look at the plushies. What did you think of the shop design? Oh, from the the Yade, the Yade one yesterday. Oh, so cool! I want. I so badly wanted to be in. I'm guessing the shop design is from Captain Morgan. Mm. It's so good. Yeah, I love. I I love that. That was like the smile on my face was so genuine because it was just so such a happy place to be. So well done as well. Like yeah, like, I love. Wise, amazing. Yeah. It was just. It was so cool. Yeah, good shop design. You, what, that, you, got, you got the thumbs up from Tom himself. You can't yeah. get any better than that. You really can't screenshot. Yeah, it. really cool. <laughs> really cool. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, I guess I mean, unless anybody else has questions, we can start to wrap up. As you know, mm -hmm. like I said, I'm I'm gonna be missing online for like the next forty eight hours while I strip this computer or like a <laughs> like an abandoned vehicle <laughs> in New York. I am going in on this thing <laughs> in a moment. But I'm glad someone came in because someone came in and said that they are seeing that other streams are just inexplicably having this, the like, issue. There was, so there was switch. the one time. There was the one time yeah. Twitch broke. And yeah. I and MM, we were trying to stream, and I was like, "Oh, Twitch is broken. We can't stream." And everyone was like, "No, you just broke the stream, didn't you?" But <laughs> like, no, Twitch. It really is Twitch. It really is. I promise. It's the worst timing. It's the, but we've had a good time. We had, had a good conversation. Good it's been amazing. It's been it, amazing. It, Thank it, you it so much for having me on. Uh, we hope to have you again as soon as 100%. you're able yeah. to. And are you going out of town on vacation to to relax the mahogany? <laughs> <laughs> up, up the humidity smell. Oh, <laughs> it's colder. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to be. We're, we're going because I'm getting married at the end of the year. Oh, which is very exciting. Congrats. Um, thank you very much. It's very exciting. I feel very. I feel very like old. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How old um, are you? I am 27. I hate you. Get out of here, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> you feel old get out of here you still you're you're you're, you're like your your joints probably still work you still have you still have dreams when kids are when 360 I... no scoping you're probably just right there with them nah I, man come and get out of here how dare you how dare when you come I, tell... <laughs> I... <laughs> oh you really hit a wire no guess yeah, it. no so guess sorry. how old am i Guess. Oh, oh uh, here we go. Uh, 
I want to say you're like, hold on. Hold well, on. Now after that reaction, <laughs> oh, no, the there eyes. Stare into them. Stare into them. Oh man, they're good eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, I want. I want to say like, <laughs> after that reaction. So after that reaction, I'm not sure. So like, early thirties. I will be forty in October. This guy. No. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> you look great. That's excellent. In October, you say? Yes. When in October? 21st. Oh, uh, I'm sick. All right. We're October babies. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going babies. up to do <laughs> some wedding bits to do. We've got some wedding bits to do because um, we're going to get married up north. Mm. Um, so we're going to, because we've not been able to do anything, obviously, because you can't travel. But mm. now the restrictions are a bit like, more chill more lenient, yeah. Um, yeah we can go and see amy's family and stuff so but i'm still going to be online i'm going to be on live throughout the week um, cool. but ali will be hosting the streams ali's going to be doing his oh. uh music videos on tuesday and then he's going to be hosting the thursday streams to play through bits and pieces which means he has to play dorian's loco game oh which means i don't have to suffer <laughs> <laughs> although i will say this now i will say this on here right now I, we play, we have a Monday meeting with the team where we just go through what's happened in dreams in the past week, which is really fun. And I'll play a few games. And I played Dorian's Loco, and I nailed like the first like six seven levels. But you watch me, you watch me get on stream and play that. I won't be able to get past <laughs> the first level. <laughs> it's always the case. It yeah, it really is. It always is. I know. I know. But yeah, Ali will be on streams next week. Cool. Right. But I want to come back. This has been so good. Thank you so much for having me. No, it was um, a pleasure having you on. I hope yes. I've been an interesting guest. You definitely have. You have been certainly Thank been you. a very interesting yeah. guest. And we, Thank th you, which you. is why we're going to have you again. We're yes. going to have you again soon. Yes. I, and I, I will make sure if I have to, I, I, I might have to hack some things. But I'm, yeah. <laughs> but I will, <laughs> I will hack Twitch to get the proper allotted <laughs> bandwidth to run this stream perfectly. I can't. I, I, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll bring. Go, I'll, just let it go. Next time I come, next time I'll bring someone with me. Don't know nice. who it'll be. I'll nice. just message someone and be like, "Yeah, we, we, we got promises, we'll ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got we a got tag got team it. episode. <laughs> we can yeah. do. We can do. We can do a hardcore two-hour dive into Jamie Breeze's gift creation process. Yes, I'm and, down. Uh, I'm we ready. can talk about the creative process of how we do it. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, let's let's do Mate, it. I, I'm. I I will be back. I can't wait. I'm excited already. Oh, and we'll awesome. talk Marvel. We yes. do, we'll work out when oh. I can come talk Marvel with you. Oh yes, we are definitely gonna gonna work on yeah. the Unexamined Life podcast appearance of Tom Dent, so I can talk about all the metaphysical things with you, as well yes, as Marvel. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. So, uh, somebody, somebody, tell me who to throw all these lovely people at. We did Sauceless one last week. So who's who's who else mm. is on currently? There's. Not give me not give me somebody cool. who's streaming right now let's see i'm gonna start setting it up here Read. and i might just have to go sauceless one it, it, it's i mean you can't go I, wrong I, I think so is kataya yeah, on? Go wrong oh it's good it's kataya on is kataya streaming if he is we'll just jump to kataya yeah okay then that's what we'll do let's do that yeah let's do that excellent ladies and gentlemen we are done for today thank you for joining and for the people that stuck with us though we had some uh we had some pretty interesting uh little hiccups but mm. yes i appreciate so later everybody and uh let's ride out thanks guys bye, bye. everybody bye, bye.